Okay, uh, I'll just do a quick check of everybody's resolution. You can uh, talk. You know where you are, right? You're uh, outside the academy. Mm -hmm. Thirteen. Okay. Does that show up? Okay. Hey, I see. Did you make any adjustments for the spell component stuff yet? Uh, no. Um, why? I was just wondering if, uh... I actually don't remember. Um, do you guys, like, have all the components you needed for the spells you guys have? Yeah, look, definitely from now on, they're gonna need components. Um... As for uh, deducting money for what they've cast, I haven't done that yet. But keep in mind, yeah, that uh, you can't cast any spells without the components anymore. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, you posted her in the forum before, right, or something? <laughs> Hold on, let me put the token.
uh, I'm looking at your streams and um, every uh, Shok has um, you've cropped the, the the girl, so try not to crop her. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody else has her uh, full size. Yeah, by the way, if you do right click, uh, view, and zoom to fit, you can fit it to the to the current size of the window you have. You fit it perfectly. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Okay. Or you can just zoom on her tits. That works too. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah, for example, um, who is it? Recoil. You have a lot of dead space to her right and to her left uh, for framing. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. Oh, um, they, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at everybody else, and they have it fit, and you have a, there's a lot of space there. That's um, alrighty. So at this point, uh, we can stop for <laughs> Rico to, to roll his. Um... Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, got, you got all. You got several things. You got shade list. You got her dad, and you had the general store. The general store, you've already rolled for it, and you, you know nothing about it. <laughs> and you're actually sitting, you're actually outside of it. It's number 14. Um, let's bl bring up the legend. I'll send it to you. Boom. And if you go down to number 14, you got nothing there because for some reason... <laughs> it's in competition with uh, Till's dad, you know. Yeah. Can't ever go there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, he, he's, he, he stories a weapon story, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Even I needed so. to roll uh, knowledge local. So, um, let me see if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll knowledge local. Oh wait, wait, but we have to. Uh, yeah, there's so there's uh, the general store you've already rolled for it. So it's Shade Lease, and then it's her dad. So I, I'm trying to think how we could uh, how we could designate that you're rolling for Shade Lease, for example. Uh, I guess no go ahead and just roll uh, for the first subject that came up so that's shadeless no, let's look cool. here we go <laughs> uh, well no you got the 10 so <laughs> ten, 10 is that you just know her uh, I know of you, her you know yeah you know um She's out of your league, you know. Don't know anymore. No, about. no. This just means I have. She doesn't know me that well, so there's just more chances to get with her. <laughs> Actually, whether she knows you or not, she would have to roll. <laughs> uh, but let me let me look in your skills. All right. I keep having to refer back. I I think I, I remember pretty well now, but I just want to be a hundred percent sure. So 10 is for um, really easy questions. So up to nine, you get nothing. Uh, 10, you get easy que 10 to 14, you get easy questions, which is... Uh... Her name. <laughs> yeah. Her, her name, her what name. she does, I guess. Um, that's it. And then, uh, yeah, 15 to 19 is uh, basic questions. Okay, let me see what I can give you. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna send that to you just to be on the on the record. Uh, Okay, so I whispered to him about that. Next, uh, roll for uh, her dad. All right. Oh, it's local. It fits. It fits. 
<laughs> it's almost as if somebody is, <laughs> is rolling, <laughs> is putting the numbers in. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me roll my d20 here. Okay, I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? Okay, I'll trust you. <laughs> So should I assume they they know something about me? Like they've seen me around? Uh, no, you cannot assume anything. You can ask okay. if you want. You know. Uh... Okay. So I replied to him about that. Um... Okay. Yeah, you can continue. You continue. Um... <laughs> oh, fighting rats quest, of course. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> so you can roll for Katrine. Yeah, you can go ahead right now and roll for Katrine if you want. Exactly. Whenever you see anything like that in the text and and not just during, ideally during play, but also afterwards. You know, you can write them down and then you can roll the next time if you forget to roll about something. Anything at all in the, um, in the chat room. Why is uh, why is Victor the 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 handy new hero? You know, why thought we were I... a team. Are you going to roll, uh, Rico? Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, what did I need to roll? For Katrin, for her sister. Oh, okay. just local. Okay. Knowledge local, yeah. You can roll while, uh, Shubin is typing. Hey. Alright, 21. Why, why do I know about her sister? <laughs> okay, um, yeah. You, uh, you guys can keep typing uh, while yeah. I uh, give the info to... Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this boar only took us five hours to kill. <laughs> we gotta find a guy who raps about rats now. <laughs> okay, guys, give me a second now. Don't type anything so I can finish with this whisper to Rico. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, so uh, I gave, um, so 21 is a lot of input, like 21, uh, above 20 is really tough question. So basically he gets, you know, he gets the, uh, you know, he knows nothing about the father, nothing about one of the sisters, nothing about the store, but he knows absolutely everything there is to know about the other sister. <laughs> and it does make sense. It does make sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. You, if, if he tells you what he learned, it makes sense that he would know this and he would not know any of the other stuff. So now if you want to um, whisper to anybody, you can do it. But keep in mind that, you know, well, I might have to roll a uh, perception for her. Uh, you can also, you can also right. say another thing you can do is you can say um, you can tell tell somebody uh, uh, come over here for a sec. I need to tell you something. And for every ten feet you move, let, let me check the perception. I think it's every five feet or every ten feet. So you can just move a few squares, and the the check becomes much harder. Um, okay. Right. So let me tell you exactly how much it becomes. So, okay. So plus one to DC per ten feet. So every two squares you move away, it's plus one to the DC. Um, and the basic hear the sound of a whisper. The basic DC for a whisper is fifteen. So if you move the ten feet, it will be sixteen. Twenty feet, it will be seventeen. It starts getting pretty hard. Um, if you think the information is important or whatever, or you can keep it for later. Uh, by the way, guys, I think that in the chat log, everybody sees this, the, the whispers. Uh, Get me? No. So just in case you miss any whispers during the game, if you check the chat log later, you can get all of them. Oh, the oh after the session. Okay. okay. I don't know how, uh, if we actually have uh, in a situation where party members might want to keep secrets from others, then we're going to have to have a new system. Um, one thing I could do is, let's, see that I, let's say that I see whispers going back and forth. And obviously I will be able to tell that you guys don't want them to. Then I can redact them in the chat log. I can make a note when I see them and redact them in the chat log. Completely delete them as if they're not there. Because if you type redacted, obviously people will know there's something there. Um, that's one option. Another option is to, to whisper through Discord, but I think that's that, that should do. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if you remember, if you know this, but uh, there's an option for me to see all the whispers. So I turn that on. So whatever you whisper between yourself, oh, cool. I'm seeing it. It's to show all whispers to GM. So that's handy. Um, By the way, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, go ahead and play. What? <laughs> in the gay now. <laughs> it, you know what? It will be much more fun when uh, when I have uh, the um, when the I have, fix rules. the avatars. No, when I fix the avatars, so that instead of seeing that little goblin, you'll be seeing her her um her image there, yeah. and oh, then no. it won't be so gay because it will look like the computer is uh, you know the computer is sending it. <laughs> hmm. Hey, look at this ugly goblin. <laughs> very, very flirtatious right off the bat. Hmm. With goblins, does it count as zoophilia or what? <laughs> I guess they're still humanoids, aren't they? So, you know, anything goes. By bipedal uh, philia. Shall we head to the basement? <laughs> just, just her and Victor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, don't you want? Oh, it was just Victor, huh? <laughs> Will you cough plug? <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if he needs some help with the rats? <laughs>
Oh, I don't want that XP. <laughs> you know, she might be a succubus or something. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think I'm you're reading too much into this. Uh, I'm always paranoid in these games. So <laughs> you can never know. Yeah, it could be some. Uh, Maybe not a rune lord, but a rune baron down there, you know. Maybe he's the dragon. No, no dragons. <laughs> Just big lizards with wings. So you cock blocked yourself, basically. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I'm, I'm very shy. Oh, what? Ah. <laughs> uh, All right. So, uh, <laughs> let me let me stop you guys now for a second. Um, You can say whatever you want, but uh, you can also, if you want, use uh, rolls to uh, supplement uh, whatever it is you're trying to do. Uh, so before you type, if you want, you can tell me what you plan to type and I can tell you if you can use a roll to, uh, you know, supplement that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what if I, what if I tell her that uh, it might not be wise to, yeah, to try to take care of of it herself. So, oh, she gets turned oh, her back on you. She's walking away in a huff. And <laughs> what do you? You can say something, or you can run after her. You can whatever you can think of. I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. You were you were asking me. Yeah, I was asking you um, <clears throat> if I tell her that it might not be a wise idea to try to t take care of it herself. Yes, yes, go ahead and type it. Go ahead and type it. And uh, and if you want, you can supplement it with a diplomacy check. Oh, you have diplomacy? Uh, how do you do uh, again the, the shouting thing? Oh, um... Isn't it yeah. slash mood? Oh yeah, mood. Slash, yeah. Forward slash mood, and then uh, shouting put... in um, in uh, lower lower case, all lower case. So forward slash mood, space shouting space, and then what do you want to say? Okay.
then you said what diplomacy check or something Okay, what is everybody else doing? Uh, well, the spoilers are going to walk off and uh, check out the town a bit more. I'll say something. Cool. I really just wanted that experience. You <laughs> <laughs> beat her up there. <laughs> yeah, we can just go murder some passers by. <laughs> no, you scream at her, I'll find other rats to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go into the shops and ask them, do you have any rats? <laughs> I can kill. It would going, take too long. Going to get to the deadly dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm going to play a little bit you guys. And we're going to pause uh, Shubin for, for a second. So, start moving. You can tell them now if you want uh, what uh, what you know about her sister. So you can just like uh, right click on the text box, copy paste, and then just copy paste it. You know. Yeah. Now you can pretty much uh, relate verbatim. Okay. Oh wait, did it? Did it? Hmm? What? Uh, l I'm looking at a chat log. Uh, I was trying to copy over the text, and did it print it out? It looks good. Yeah. Because okay. there's that little GM thing. About yeah, it. it just says. Oh, 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 how, that. how did that get there? Uh, I th maybe it's because when I dragged it off it. Oh, it copied should... everything, including the GM. Thing. Oh, that's weird. You'd think the GM thing would be inside the chat box. Well, in, in the next next uh, next time, then just remove it manually. Yeah, I'll try to be more careful with that. You, you're the GM now. <laughs> Um,
While you're talking, keep moving. Make it um, realistic. Not too far, yeah. Uh, on this, on Main Street, you've uh, Rico has checked all the places, and um, so on this oh, street, weird type of uh, that. <laughs> You're just doing cleric puns. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then you slapped. Then uh, Marta slapped his thigh and winked. <laughs> Radiance, but... <laughs> you know what? I, I want to go back. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, fuck. Did, did I actually. It's okay, just type the whole thing again and I'll just I'll delete it when I know. Uh... Oh, oh, yeah, don't forget the periods and everything. I'm trying to walk and talk at the same time. It's. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little stick difficult. To, uh, I'm gonna stop your stick to 30 feet maximum. Oh, Never 30 feet. Me, uh, okay. Uh, Just like the combats. Is that? Yeah. I will let you know when it, uh, when it's time to just roll. Just keep walking. Roll for the big building in front of you. In the meantime, um, I see that, uh, you know, um, Oof. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. This is oh. that big building I see sometimes. <laughs> it's just big. That's it. I can type, I can type something. Um, don't type, don't, uh, whatever you're typing, uh, Rory, uh, don't press enter for a sec. I'm not typing anything. Oh, okay. I don't know why the, yeah, the, the, the bubble speech bubble bubble. icon, yeah, I haven't been seeing it for anyone else, actually. Just me, but I haven't typed anything. I'm trying to find, how would you say manufacturing plant in the Middle Ages? Um, production, production center of such and no, such. No. 
it's like it's like a craftsman's but it's not small like uh, you know it's not a craftsman's shop it's a um Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know what I'll put. I'm typing a follow up. Well, he has over 100, he's got too much to remember, you know. <laughs> well, he was mostly a child back then. <laughs> Man, elves yeah, must have a long puberty. Uh, can we start moving again? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, oh, whoops! That's not well. So and do we bad. do we want to number this building, or is there? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me uh, let me do that. It's a good idea. Twenty five. Oh no, twenty six. Yeah, this street is a little tight. Wow, what is the number? What is the number? What number are we up to? Um, twenty six was the last one. So right. 27. Cool. Let me get it exactly the same. Okay, and I'm going to type something as well. You could ask a passerby. You could knock on the door if you're if you're that. You know, you have options. Mm. Shit, god damn it, typos. <laughs> I keep wanting to put like a apostrophe. <laughs>
It's passes by one word. Uh, yeah. Pass, passer buys. Passer Pass, buys. Passer buys. One word. Yep. Now I'm going to roll for her knowledge logo. <laughs> <laughs> First, I'm going to roll if she can hear you. This is uh <laughs> it's ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, she has some rats that need to take care of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to clean out her rats? <laughs> Down in the basement. <laughs> We're slowly picked off one by one by various psychic visits. Apparently, I'm new in town, too. <laughs> and look, as if by magic, your key is automatically updated. <laughs> this is new information. This new game I, AI is so advanced. <laughs> yeah. It's called Games AI. It's um, Sergey coded it before he left.
Seen any rune lords around here? <laughs> <laughs> They're in the basement of the club. <laughs> <laughs> Recall, roll for the building on your left. All right. Cool. 14. Okay, so that number is assets. Out of three hundred and twenty. <laughs> Look at the knowledge local for the um, up, umpteenth time. Fourteen is just like if you had one more, if you had fifteen, then you could have gotten some. Uh, so, for between ten and fourteen, you just get the, the, what it is. That's it. Basic questions is fifteen to nineteen, so it's not that good. Fourteen is not that good. Um, It's rolling bad today. <laughs> okay, I was gonna, I was gonna um, whisper, but there's no reason we're not doing whispers uh, for this.
I'm adding it to your um to the key. All right, we're done. All right. Switching to uh, Shuban. Right. It's time. The time has come, and so have I. Let me load the epic battle music. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna take care of of her beaver. <laughs> I mean, her get, into, <laughs> get into rage mode and. Let <laughs> <laughs> me switch. If you die here, Shub, it's over for us. <laughs> <laughs> It would be too bad if you re-rolled another character, you'd just be behind a bit. <laughs> We're gonna switch off to the Tailspire epic battle map. <laughs> 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 Procedurally generated sex dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Those dot dot dots they seem kind of ominous. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get syphilis and die in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> He's got high fortitude score as a barbarian. So. <laughs> Draws his sword. <laughs> he, uh, he draws his sword, but suddenly thoughts of Alden flood his mind, and <laughs> he just he just 
can't lift it. So I need something from you. Uh, what do you do? If you say something or if you do some, if you say something, hit enter. If you do something, control enter. Oh, let me think. Now's now, now Victor's well, chance. We, we got, we we got can't blue influence him. We can't influence him. He's got to come. You know, he's got to decide himself. Yeah, yeah. We're not there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, you did see some of the info that I got. <laughs> you know, she might be for the streets. Who knows? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, first of all, he wasn't supposed to see it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That was the thing. Yeah. I don't know if it makes a huge difference either way, but yeah, yeah. It's pretty obvious right now. Try, 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 try to play without, uh, you know, without taking that into account. You know, you're role-playing. So uh, let me add that here. Um, I did a, a secret check. Um, okay, so Victor rolled uh, perception. So basically, you rolled 11, uh, and your perception is 5. So 11 plus 5 equals 16. And DC was 15. So you just made it. So let me see, uh, just to double check, uh, your perception is plus five, right? Let me see, perception plus five, right? Yeah, and you rolled 11, so. I can't see the room, so I don't know if I can hide somewhere. Well, uh, tell me what you want to do. Uh, hide somewhere? <coughs> um, you can type it. You can type, I try to find somewhere to hide. Control enter. to be hard with my massive sword hanging. <laughs> so it's the sister and it's going to be a threesome, then, eh? Hold on. Let's, uh, let's not roleplay that. <laughs> <laughs> what sister dude can you okay, i've already put the person there can you you can just zoom in and you can see the, the token she's very <laughs> homely <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> i didn't know <laughs> <laughs> could still be a threesome <laughs> <laughs>
Let's see what kind what kind of uh, well this hide it's hide right it's um H uh, stealth no I think you're looking for stealth oh, right well there's escape artist would that count no St oh that's escaping crap okay it's got to be stealth it's got to be stealth um. Let's see how it works. Stealth, okay. I have minus it's, two, so I'm fucked. It says that if people are observing you using any of their senses, you can't use stealth. So you cannot hide, for example, from um, Shailene. You know, she knows you're there. She's. The question is if you can hide uh, from the person that's coming down the stairs who hasn't seen you yet. So, no, <laughs> against the screen, fuck. Well, the way this this goes is like this. First of all, you roll your stealth. So just roll stealth, first of all. And then he's going to have to roll perception. And I'm going to apply to him. the. Uh, so I don't I don't apply anything to you. He just has to beat your four. <laughs> Put your hands and, over uh, your face. Okay, what's next? Diplomacy? <laughs> <laughs> so... Do I have his perception here? His perception is plus nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, uh, what I want to see is... Um, hang on a sec. Okay. The modifiers, uh, distance through a close favorable conditions. Okay, uh, I will put it favorable con favorable conditions. Yeah, I will put it favorable conditions because you are in a, um, you know, it's only lit by torches. You are in a uh, in a basement. Uh, well, actually, from his perspective, it's unfavorable conditions. So it's plus two to the D, uh, plus two to his. Oh, I see. I see. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it in the modifier. So the modifier for him, whatever he rolls, will be minus. Uh, terrible conditions. What's the difference with terrible? Candlelight. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to put it a minus three. So it's not terrible conditions, but uh, it's more than unfavorable. So unfavorable conditions to perception check. Distance to the source object. So if every ten feet that you're away from him, it's another plus one. It's another minus one. Um, 
Well, let's do another minus one. So, so now I got a minus four. Minus four. It does give another my plus five if the creature making the check is distracted. So the question is, is he distracted? What do they mean by distracted? Uh, because that plus five, the minus five is big. Uh, is he distracted? No, I don't think he's distracted. Maybe Looking he's distracted by her. Yeah, that's the question. Um, well, yeah, she's, you know, she's half naked. Hmm. You know, I was wondering, since my character is 17, is he, would he be a virgin or not? <laughs> Well, uh, we'll figure it out when we get to it. You know, it's up, it's up, it's up to you. You have to make the virginity check. You've never heard of that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big thing. I'm trying to... Re You're already at minus four. He's, his role is already a minus four. Uh, but the plus five, that's huge now. Is he distracted? He's looking straight. Uh, no, he's looking straight where in the general direction of you and her. Is he distracted by her? All right, uh, it's, it's a tough call, this one. Um, creature, uh, creature making the check is somewhat distracted. And I'm just going to give it another minus two. So it's minus three, minus one, minus two. That's minus six. Uh, so it's like he's plus nine, so he's got a plus three basically. He's minus six. Three, three. So if he rolls anything except one, I'm fucked. Minus six, okay. <laughs> Jesus! <Ooh. laughs> look at that! Look at that! Just oh, by wow. one. Just by <laughs> one. Okay, so we're gonna put you that you were gonna try to hide around. You were going that direction, and he saw you. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. It's interesting because the adventure hadn't. Um, hadn't uh, predicted that you might try to hide so this is we you know you thought that up you tried it it didn't work but uh it did it did give you the perception check to hear him coming down but they didn't think that you might try to hide uh i guess i'm sure they give you the perception for some reason uh but they didn't say what you could do during this time that you bought for yourself you know and Mm -hmm. What else could you do? I mean, what else could you do? You know, you're in the. You're, he's coming down the stairs that you came down. It's not like there's another exit. All right. Well, maybe so. there is the window. No. Oh no, it's a basement. The basement. Okay, I'm gonna type something.
bullshit. Ah, you're fine. You can take him. Just remember to use non-lethal. <laughs> Hold on, uh, I made a mistake. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna delete his token and I'm gonna put his token from. There we go. Uh, are you typing something? Uh, yep. Tell me what you're typing. I'm typing that I'm only trying to help the folks of this fine town. Oh. Go, go, go ahead and type it. Yeah, go ahead and uh, okay. put it there. And then you can roll bluff or diplomacy. Well, it sounds like diplomacy it doesn't sound like you're bluffing. Okay, go ahead and roll diplomacy. Okay, so uh, minus one. No. If you wanted to bluff, you should have been like. Mm. Mm. Oh. You need the DC was twenty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he's he's There's really no angry. I mean, I guess I, if I kill him, then I can take his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 not only does it say the DC is 20, <laughs> it says that if you succeed by 10 or higher, so it says if you succeed by 30 or higher, then, you know, it, it gives some other stuff that's happening. But how would you succeed at 30 when you're first level barbarian? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Diplomacy. Doesn't sound like, uh, doesn't sound very doable. All right, we're all initiated now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we're all initiative, and uh, you're playing first. Uh, There's the epic battle music. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't have that. I don't have that. <laughs> you know, I would have to find, yeah, I, I prepared a lot of other stuff. I didn't prepare this. Um, I would have to find, it, it, it should not be, you know, epic because it's Good. not an epic fight. It should be like a, it should be like a bar Pop brawl. Kind of music, yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Let me look for a sec uh, on YouTube. RPG brawl music. Who knows? You never know. Tavern brawl music. Well, uh, no, tavern, no, we don't want that. Um, tribal hunt, no, that's not good. Tavern brawl. Let's Fisticuffs to... music or something like that? I don't know. R. Kelly's trapped in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Something with an accordion and honky instead of RPG, yeah. Instead of RPG, I'll put. Uh, I got I got Super Smash Brawl. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think maybe something from like. Uh, what was it? Well, from a fighting game. <laughs> no, no. Um, Kingdom Come. I think they had like some brawl music if you did some fist fights. <laughs> 
Really? Yeah, just, when you say kingdom, uh... yeah, just be careful about the Twitch streams that we don't get uh, copyright strikes. Well, if it's music from the game, it should be fine, right? Uh, yeah. I guess. Oh, there is only been... fist fight. Hold on. We've been fine like every time, so we don't have to. We're, we're not yeah, too like big. It, but like, if you put Smash Bros, then Nintendo is going oh, to yeah, put yeah, down yeah. on us. <laughs> true, true. Really, they don't, don't like people Nintendo. streaming. Guys, guys, shut up for a sec. I'm trying to listen to the music. Mm. There is a, a track from Kingdom Come. It's called Fist Fight. Uh, it, it does sound a little too uh, epic to me. Let me see. Okay, well, uh, it's a possibility. Let me just look. Let's just spend a couple more minutes. You know, you can spend like hours looking for that stuff. That, that's how... Oh, it even shows the scene. Let me see. Okay, so instead of brawl, let me talk, just like fist fight music. Okay, I think I got something that might be uh No, it's rap. <laughs> you can hear it, yeah. You hear it. Mm -hmm. Some Celtic metal. Maybe put the the Witcher uh, bro like bar fight. Mm. Okay, I think I got it. I got it. I just got a question. Is it a fist yeah, fight or what? Yeah, it's not bad at all. Okay, uh, I need to add it to the board. Well, sir, you probably want to avoid killing this dude. Or yeah. maybe you could try hey, and shut intimidate him. Shut, shut up! Shut oh, up! Sorry, sorry. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's your turn. What do you do? I'm going to reduce the volume of the bot a tiny bit. Uh, speak up a bit. Yeah, I reduce the volume of the bot a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I assume this is a fist fight, right? Well, yeah, he, he's uh, charging you with his fist. Yeah, he doesn't have a weapon or anything. But I have a weapon. Or do I... Because I've never fought without my sword before. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what you can do. Um, if you take a minus four to your attack roll, you can do... You can you can hit him with the, with the hilt of your sword. And that's, uh, that's non-lethal damage. Uh, and the other thing you can do is grapple. So you can try to grapple him to the ground. We have a flow chart. We've done this before. We can do it again. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. So basically, you can try to knock him out with your lethal damage with the hilt of your sword, uh, or you can grapple. What do you prefer? I don't know about punches. If you if you want about straight punches, um, we have to look. In, we can look. We can look in the uh, in the book. I think it's special attacks. Chuck, you have nothing to um, say? Um, yeah, so everyone will have just a standard unarmed attack. It's, I think, 1d3 damage for a medium humanoid. I think if it's, if it's unarmed versus unarmed, I don't think there's any penalties to attack, but I'll just find it in the rulebook. Let me look at actions. So in his actions, um, there's only his great sword. He doesn't say anything about in fantasy ground. It doesn't seem to be coded in fantasy grounds. Uh, 
unless let me look at his inventory uh by the way the music only lasts two and a half minutes so i would have to like keep restarting it i'm not going to do it now because we're looking at the book but i can play it a couple more times um later so let me let me try to unequip his sword and then look at his actions and i think what happens is he has no actions now he has nothing in his actions standard preparation He's also carrying a heavy flail. Oh yeah, that's to make people fall. I think I can uh, trip. Trip. Yeah. Trip people. Yeah. But um, so you said I can hit him with the hilt of my sword. Yeah, well, you can hit him with the with the hilt of your sword, and uh, it would do all that damage. Two d six plus six. But it would not go in his lethal damage. It would go in the uh, uh, non-lethal, and that damage uh, is healed one hit point per hour. So, like ten hours later, he would have the hit points back. You see? Yeah. Um, I think I and, found and it. And Page one eight two of the rule book. One eight two. Yeah. Natural attacks. Is that it? Uh, uh, no, it's under standard actions. I think it counts as a natural attack, but for for most humanoids, it's just counts as a, it's just called unarmed attack. Mm. Unarmed? And what are you looking at? Unarmed attack? Yeah, so page one eight two. Okay, there's no attack of opportunity because he's not armed, uh, the other. So we're going to forget about that. Uh, oh, you haven't drawn your sword first uh, either. Uh, oh, no. yeah. Yeah, one to three hit points of blood joining damage plus your strength modifier. In an arm strike. But didn't you say also something about a minus three? It says that it says that all damage from an arm strikes is non-lethal. So basically, what's the difference between hitting him with your hands and hitting him with your sword hilt is that with your hands you're going to do less damage. Both yeah. um, both the sword hilt and your hands is non-lethal, but. Uh, with your hands, you're going to do 1d3 plus uh, plus strength. Whereas with uh, with the sword, you're going to do 2d6 plus 6. <clears throat> so uh, you you can kill somebody with uh, with an arm with um, with uh, no lethal, but it's difficult. Like he, you would have to get him down to minus uh, his constitution. If he has, let's say, constitution 10. You have to get him to minus 10. So let, let's say now he has 8 hit points. You have to get him to my, uh, you have to hit him for 18 hit points. Or 19 to kill him. Um, keep in mind that this guy does not look like he has 5-6 hit points. He, look, he looks like a brawler. He probably has a lot more than that. Uh, yeah. So if you try to, um, to punch him for like 3-4-5 hit points... Then it's gonna be a brawl, you know. He's gonna hit you back, and you're gonna be hitting. You you can see that, you know. You can see that he's he's a big guy. He's not. Uh, um, so pulling out the sword and hitting him for two d six plus six. Um, but remember, you're gonna take a minus four on the roll because you're trying to use a lethal weapon in a non-lethal manner. So and you can pull out the sword without uh, as your as a as a I think it's a free action because you have plus one. Uh, B A B, so you can do it as part of a move action. Yeah, you can pull your sword as part of a move action. So um, yeah, the, your choices are hit him with your hands uh, for one d three plus strength. What is your strength? Uh, strength is four. So it will be one d three plus four. Uh, pull out the sword, hit him with the hilt with a minus four to attack for two d six plus six, or grapple. So 
Let me think. Yeah. Like, could you run p past him? Uh, oh. Oh. oh, it's it's a bot. Okay, um, I'll get it back. So, could you run past him? Um, I don't know about that. You know, uh, is that possible? Normally, if you try to run past somebody, he would get an attack of opportunity, but he's not armed. So he doesn't get an attack of opportunity. So do you know how to, how that works, uh, Shock? Um, I think you can't move through his square, even though he can't take an attack of opportunity, but you could do an acrobatics check to move through his square. That, that, that would make sense. So moving through his, uh, you know, he's blocking the stairs. So moving through him, uh, I don't know what the... Um, what the penalties would be. Let me see. Skills. I guess I shouldn't have suggested that. Um, it's not suggested <laughs> in the book or anything. It's just that I was trying to, to give you all your options. Uh, so a minus two. You know, it would be a minus two on your, your acrobatics. And let me see what it says. To cross narrow surfaces. That's the thing. It's very narrow because he's a big guy. He's blocking the whole thing. Uh, I found so to pass through his space it's DC 5 plus his CMD oh it says that yes that's under acrobatics skill page 88 DC opponents combat maneuver defense let me see what that is alright CMD Okay. Did you get yeah, that's it's good it's cool how they have it. Uh, move through an enemy space five plus opponents combat. So whatever that CMD is, yeah. So those are your four choices. Kind of sounds like it's out of a Yakuza game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will try the. And then you, can, you the... can say that um, I hit him. I hit him with uh, the heels of the sword. I need to move towards him first, right? Yeah. Can roll for at oh uh, yeah I put whole, minus four. Uh, you put minus four in the modifier at the bottom left. Yeah. Put minus four. Uh, um. Okay, and then control and left click on him to uh, target. Yeah, it's already targeted. Okay. And then um, pull out nice. your um Yeah, that is the plus, plus five, right? I mean the... Uh, not the plus five, the one. The, oh, the one. The one next to the grid. All right. And now double click the uh, damage. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay. oh sorry. <laughs> Um, you know, it's my fault. Basically, now the damage went into his um, oh. normal wound, but I'm going to put it to zero and I'm going to put... I think there's a way to put it, uh, you know, but I put it now. I put it now there, so there's no problem. And uh, you, can, you can, if you want to, you, you can say something. Can you move? No, you've already moved. 
So if you're done, hit the... Uh... Yeah, uh, wait a sec. You uh, look at his uh, look at his token, yeah. and look at how much health he's taken away, and that was eight hit points. So you can sort of get how many hit points he has. Well, I, I don't see the. Um, if you I'm zoom in on his token, yeah. Can you see to the right of his token the bar? No, you can see, but I cannot. Oh, I see. Okay. Great, okay, um, next, oh, this is all their books we're looking, um, he's still on the, um, uh, I'm gonna remove these. Oh, not smart, okay, great. I want to see uh, my my role. Uh, so GM rolls on. Oh, okay. I want to see now if the damage, no, the damage went to your wound, so even for him, even though he has an arm strike, uh, that was six. It says SBD, what's SBD? And on lethal damage, I don't know what it stands for. Mm, okay. sub, sub jewel, I think. Oh. If you again. So minus four. Minus four, yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Um, don't hit next turn now because it's going to be Marty. Um, tell me what you want to do. If you want to do something, you, you can also move. Again, you can see. I will take the lady and flee with her. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, now I think I'm done. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that's 70 points. So, 6 plus 7 is 13, right? Mm. Man, this is getting dicey. So, you have two hit points left. Yeah, this guy is, this guy is cumulating you. Uh, the, if, if Rico had, um, had succeeded in his check on him, you would know if to think more about him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't look good.
<laughs> now I'm thinking, should I try to 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 um, escape now? Or <laughs> oh yeah, I... you, you you can try again. You can try again. The um, definite let me think. You can definitely try again. The um... so you all uh, wait. Oh, you haven't tried acrobatic. Before, no, so you can no. try it now if you want. Yeah, you can try it now. Um, you can type. Uh, I try to, uh, I, I forget about try, I run past him and up the stairs. Control enter. But le let's say I fail, can I attack or? No, that's your turn. Oh, shit. So, uh, wait, 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 I don't want to say something stupid. Um, if this is part of your move and then your move doesn't work out, then yeah, you still have a standard action. Unless the acrobatic check counts as a standard act, so that's what we have to read now. Let's read the description of the uh... Off the top of my head, I think it's just a move. So he could attack and then and try and move through, but I'll just have a quick look as well. It says though, when moving this way, he moves at half speed, so... He can still get to the street. Uh, wait, 30? So he can move 15 feet? He will get a, a he, if if the man chooses to chase you up the stairs, he will be able to keep to um to um to hit you again. Oh, it says that you can move at full speed by increasing the DC of the check by ten. By the way, uh oh, yeah, it says that. Let me see because first of all. Your encumbrance, no, no problem with the encumbrance, but you're wearing heavy armor, are you wearing heavy armor? Uh, what kind of armor? Oh, you're wearing a uh, hide armor, is that considered heavy? That's medium, I think. It's medium, hide is medium. So, what does it say about that? <laughs> if you're medium, if you're wearing medium or heavy armor, so... Uh, yeah, so I guess he can't yeah. try it. You cannot use acrobatics to move past foes if you're... Of wearing medium armor, so you cannot use this at all because you're wearing that uh, the hide armor. Forget about oh, it. Okay. You have no option of moving past him. So I have to trust in the gods of the dice. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I guess. I will Minus attack. four. Alright, um, before you roll for the hit now, let me see if I can fix this. So I go to the great sword. No, I don't know the great sword. I go to action. Uh, and uh, if you look at the end of the great sword. Okay, you know what? It's possible to do it, uh, I think, but I need to know uh, how to code it in. Like, I need to know what. how do you type it, so forget about it for now. Just just roll damage as normal. Okay. Jesus, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, so... Guys, what is the... Uh, 17 plus 8? 25. So, I need to check something. I think you said a couple of things.
I wonder if the uh, special attacks are coded. Oh, it's here. If either of them dies, you face a murder charge. You spend one to three days in jail, and then you're sent to Magnemore for trial. Oh, man. No, <laughs> 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 <There we> go. <laughs> I'm, I'm just telling you now because you chose not to use lethal force. But uh, if you use lethal force and you don't kill him, then there's bad things happening. But the worst thing is if you kill one of them, and then you're probably going to hang. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. So... Um, okay, I'll tell you what, I made a mistake. Uh, it said that in his tactics that he uses power attack. And I didn't use power attack in his attacks. What is power attack? I just checked it. Power attack is um, you take a minus one penalty to attack rolls uh, to gain a plus two damage on all uh, damage roll on damage. So, uh, and then, then there's more and there's more modifier. This bonus to damage is increased by half if you're making an attack with a 200. Okay, but he's not using a weapon, so that doesn't matter. What is a primary natural weapon? I think it's close, right? Yeah, that's if you've got just like a one claw or a bite or something. But does uh, does the punch attack of a human ca 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 um, can I don't think it does, no. I think that would just be for monsters. Let me see what his base attack bonus is because when he his base attack bonus is plus three, and at plus four he gets even more effect. It's a feat. So if he had used it, he would have taken a minus one to his attack rolls until now. Uh. Well, the book says that he always uses it when pummeling his opponents. Um, and he has already made, what, two attacks? And he hasn't used it? Something like that? Uh, well, we'll get, I have to find a reason why he... Basically, the reason I didn't use it is because uh, this information is, uh, is spread across several pages. So, I have one page of the encounter, and then there's another page where it says his tactics. And there's another page... So I was I was looking at the encounter, which has some tactics, and then the tactics page has more tactics. And uh, anyway, it would have been interesting to use it. I think yeah, he 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 will get to use it now. We can say that he didn't use it the first two rounds uh, because he felt confident or whatever, and now um, he's enraged or whatever, so he's gonna use it now. So we're gonna see how it's gonna work. Um, so he, he's still not knocked down. No, he's still not knocked down, and uh, if I tell you, he would be, he's, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, he, he has 31 hit points, you've taken down 25 of that, so he has 6 hit points left, and the book here says, the, uh, not the book, the, um, the tactics say that, if reduced below 5 hit points, he drops to his knees and begs for mercy, so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> below 5 hit points, and now he has 6. <laughs> below five means four it's not even five it's four so you have to get him to four um so you see it's good that you use the sword because if you were just hitting him with your fists you would not have gotten anywhere near 25 that you got now so the only thing i want to check is because you know in second edition um if somebody takes fucking 17 hit points in one hit, because you just took 17 hit points away from him, that uh, might precipitate a saving throw uh, system shock. It's called system shock. Oh yeah, in Pathfinder it's um, it's got to be more than half of your total HP and also more than 50 points. So it doesn't really than, come up at low levels. More than 50 points. More than 50 hit points, you're saying? Yeah, exactly. 
It's called massive well, damage. If you, have 20 hit, if you have 20 hit points and you take away 15, nothing happens? No, it only comes up when you've got a lot more hit points than we do now. I see. I see. Why? I guess they don't want that happening uh, to every low level character, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're pretty sure about that, huh? Uh, yeah, I'll just find it in the, the book for you. Yeah, find it because I've never seen it before. I want to take a look at it. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Massive damage on page 189. It's an optional rule. Uh huh. Oh, and if you fail that, yeah, I see why. Because if you fail that check, then you die even if you still have hit points. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I understand why. Otherwise, people will be dying left and right from the first level. Um, yeah, because when somebody has six hit points, it doesn't, you know, you, you know, it's easy to hit them for four. And then he would roll four digits and he would die if he fails it. So I see why they're doing it this way. Um, all right. Let me just continue playing. Right. So you hit him. Uh, the only other thing you could do is take a. Uh, well, he cannot attack you. Uh, he cannot uh, hit you for an attack of opportunity. So you could you could move normally now if you want. What do you mean normally? You could hide behind her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just made it up. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what works. Uh, but because he does not arm, you don't have to take a five foot step away from him. You can. You, you can do your whole thirty feet. You can go wherever you want. You just can't go past him. Yeah, but I don't uh, know how big the. Keep huh? in mind that we're playing now mostly theater of the mind. Like we don't yeah. have the actual basement. I don't know how the, big the basement or any, any of that. Uh, if you want to move away from him, just move a couple of squares, and then the rest is, is handled, you know, theater, uh, you know, um, theater of the mind, and then you type what you do, and then I'll tell you what happens. Or you can just stay there. It's, um, I don't think that tactically moving away from him changes anything. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, so I think I'm done. And now I pray. <laughs> Okay, you're done, right? Yeah. Okay. Please right. don't hit, please don't hit. <laughs> you're using fire, so let, let, me, let me pull out the feet now, the power attack. Well, if he misses this attack, then you're... You're probably good if you get the other one. Let's see. God damn it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it trades melee attack bonus for damage. Oh. Uh. An exceptionally deadly melee attack by sacrificing accuracy for strength. Uh, but all he sacrificed is a minus one. It's not a huge sacrifice. Minus one.
Can you find that primary natural weapon for me? Uh... Yeah, I think it's on 182. Um... Yeah, natural attacks on 182. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, it's a different thing from an arm strike. An arm strike, I guess, I guess human limbs don't count. Yeah, I think it must, because it says as well, um, you can make natural attacks in, in combination with attacks made with a melee weapon or unarmed strikes. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's counting them as different things. It's a different thing. It's racist. <laughs> um, okay, so at least uh, we don't have to worry about that. It seems pretty straightforward. He takes a minus one on roll. And he gains a plus two on all on damage. That's it. This bonus damage is increased. Since you if he hits you, you're gonna go down whatever happens. So this actually is to your benefit. Because the only thing that happens is that it just makes it a bit harder for him to hit you. Mm, yeah. um, so let me put minus one on his roll. Okay. Yeah, it's just pretty straightforward. So uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to how to um, how to phrase it. You know, like a boxer's, uh, how a boxer's a boxer winds up, winds up for a um, for a hook, for example, or for a right right hand. Um, Should be I should be watching some boxing uh, commentary. <laughs> well, winds up sounds correct to me. Yeah, I don't know why the um, the bot quit so quickly you now. Let's get the music going again.
Ugh. And I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one, 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 one. Fuck. You got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, you've lost 20 hit points, so you're minus 5 now. And, uh, okay. You got something. So now he brings me to the rape dungeon. <laughs> Probably gonna get tossed on the street. Billions of windows that I have in front of me. Goddamn, shoot. You just got knocked out by the dragon at Dojima. Here to you! Wait! Uh, I didn't give him the plus two damage, did I? Uh, let me see. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Uh, yeah, I didn't give him a plus two damage. Yeah, I didn't roll. I didn't. Did I? Uh, it was one d three plus four. Three three plus four. Okay, so um, add plus two to damage roll above. That's because of the um, the uh, power attack. So he has lost twenty two hit points. That means he's minus seven. And his constitution is. Don't tell me he's dead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fifteen. No, it's okay. So he can go up to minus fifteen before he dies. And now he's uh, minus uh, seven. So he has like uh, I don't know eight rounds or something like that. Uh, but uh, I don't think he dies with this. Like I think the next round. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Boom. After uh, you, okay, I'm gonna click. Uh, let me click here. Hmm, it didn't roll. Okay. Uh, Are you looking for stabilizing rolls? Uh, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to see if he's gonna do it automatically. Yeah, uh, you, you don't need to for non-lethal damage. He's just unconscious. Oh. Okay. It's sort of. It's treated as a separate. HP track, I think, effectively. Okay, that's why. That's why it's not okay. Um, so, delete the three turns above. Okay, if uh, you guys can probably only see two turns, I can see three because that guy is hid. His turn is hidden for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because you're not. You have an ID. Him. He's not ID. That's that's all. It's not. He's not stealthy or anything like that. Um, if you get any XP from this encounter, probably not. Well, I get experience about women at least. <laughs> You know what is it, what what is it, what uh, it says here? It says he won't continue beating on a foe once his target is unconscious. So he's not going to keep beating you while you're in the ground. But neither will he staunch a beaten foe's a beaten foe's bleeding. But why would the foe be bleeding if he's attacking him unarmed? I think the only reason that it would say is if you had uh, first of all he doesn't have any weapons. Let me look at his gear. Heavy nose, please. The only thing I, can yeah, do. I, I guess it's possible if if he power attacks a a wizard with a low constitution score, he's got maybe four hit points already. By the way, um, I should have given you this earlier. Yeah, we should have had it up. 
during the fight, but we didn't. Okay. Let me look at these streams. Keep it up now at least. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Uh, Rory, yeah. Recoil, you, sh you should have also the girl up. Everybody else has the girl and him. Yeah, uh, it took her down when we were walking. Yeah, that makes sense. You took down the girl. Yeah, we got this guy. I think we have we have this guy in uh, in uh, Shubin's um, channel, and he says getting your clocks cleaned by Shaylee's dad. <laughs> mm. <laughs> he knows the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I was actually not expecting this to happen. I hadn't looked at the uh, stats very well. I was expecting that, you know, you'd have beaten him up or whatever, but so. <laughs> I was expecting the damn rat. So, yeah, we need to see this now. We, I need to check these rules, man. The um, unconscious... Um, So, injury and death. Yeah, it's page 191. At the bottom right. Okay. You were saying, trying to explain to me how uh, somebody could get to bleeding by uh, by getting hit with fists. Yeah, so I think once it's past your your total hit points in negative damage, then any further damage is lethal, and then it will start just dealing it to your your lethal damage. I see. One hit point per hour per character level. So if he goes two levels, level two, then he will be healing two per hour. So he's healing one per hour. Um, so there doesn't seem to be any, any danger. He's out cold, and unless somebody attacks him now, he's going to come, he's going to, um, he's going to be at zero in seven hours, right? Same time for dinner. He's yeah, minus, exactly. he's, he's minus seven hit points now. Yeah, that's right. So in seven hours, he'll be on zero and staggered. Yeah, and then he will be able to uh, move. He will be able to move, but he won't be able to attack and move. <laughs> so he's really going to be unconscious for seven hours. Yeah, when you're in lethal damage... <laughs> In real life, that would be brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, you guys don't have ears and eyes in that scene, so you don't have idea what's going on in there. There's nothing he can do between seven and hours, or if somebody helps him. So, uh, see that this is where um, what we should have done is you guys should have uh, gone off Discord uh, and don't watch the stream. 
and then we play this out and then I tell you that you play and then you just time passes and you just don't see him coming and you have to decide what to do but now you know what's happened so the only thing is that first of all I wasn't expecting this to happen and second of all um, you know this took what an hour or an hour and a half or something so all that time you would have had to you know not play basically in the future we might have to start doing this um, and then you just have to find something to do you know you can read the books and you can um, I don't know. You can play. You play. You can play, you play a video game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you can go to another channel and just uh, well, an hour and a half. You could play a PA match. You could play a fighting game. You could play uh, whatever you want. Yeah, it makes sense. Why not? Oh, the streams. Yeah, it's the the streams. Uh, well, the stream. The, the well, yeah. It's, well. Buy a second computer then. Buy a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just uh, say it's a mini game. <laughs> so boom, tilt to lethal and play. All right. Well, uh, try to play. Go. Try to play without. Uh, keep that out of your mind. You don't know that. Play as if you don't know that. But what, right. what is the guy doing with my body? Does he just leave it there or what? Yeah, that's what I, you don't know. You're you're unconscious. You cannot mm, play okay. for seven hours. Yeah, that's a good point. Try to remember what you had planned to do before this thing happened, and just do that. Uh, give me a, ma a moment to pull out the map to see uh, where you're going, if there's anything. Yeah, you can keep going. Um, use uh, diagonals, uh, Shock. Don't go up and left. Fight though, we looked up the rules for the acrobatics, uh, the power attack, um, lots of different things. Oh, whoops, it's only took 35. That guard is. Still supposed to be there? Yeah, there's a guard there. All right. Meanwhile, I'm play I'm role playing the characters at the bottom in my mind. <laughs> 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 So like I moved him, I moved the guy next to his daughter, and now in my mind he's saying, "Hey, are you okay? And what did this rough ruffian do, do to you?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna be like uh, Norman Bates in the in the cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Staying up all night now, sleeping. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, you oh, have sorry. to roll. Uh, I wonder, you've never rolled for this building on the right? Um, uh, no. All right, go ahead and roll. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to type. I still have to put it. Yes, it's... What number are we on now? This would be 20. 29. Uh, no, we looked at the house. Yeah, it would be 29. Yeah, 29. Yeah, okay.
I didn't notice adjudicators tucking on my stream. Oh. <laughs> He's talking about uh, the damage unarmed, unarmed damage, what kind of stuff it would do. <laughs> he knows the rules? I don't think so, he's just... <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. He's... No, it's just pe looks like it's just definitions of stuff. Blunt trauma. I can't believe you don't know what this building is. <laughs> you <a> moron here. <laughs> uh, does it make sense to roll for stuff like that? I guess you you are a a um you, you know you are a child. You don't pay attention. You don't give a shit. <laughs> Adjudicator is just speculating on, uh... Heard the comment on wondering how blunt damage can cause bleeding, and that got me thinking, so... Just a nosebleed or knocking out someone's tooth, splitting their lip, that kind of thing. But that's not major, uh... You know... It's not like you need to apply gauze for that or something. <laughs> well, I have a hunch what it is now, but I won't say. Yeah, my hunch is that it's a building. <laughs> <laughs> The map of Corvosa is something like four times as big as this, and it's so laggy. It takes almost twice as long for them to move around as you do, and it's four times bigger, at least. 
It's insane. It's like 4K map. Uh, Rico, roll for the building to the south. All right. Hey. Uh, guys, tell me uh, the number. 30. 30, I think. Okay, you're off of Main Street. I'm going to turn the busker off. When you asked me to roll, I actually went for the die <laughs> on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay, so this is... is this and you got a 15 so you got uh, yeah you got some information I got a bunch of stuff to give you for this. Um, be AFK with like 30 seconds. The Sarni are gypsies, the gypsies of Galarian. Okay. You can go ahead and roll for your building to the north. So you see, 
Uh, 18 is better than 15, but it's still in the same range, 15 to 19. I wonder if I should, you know, uh, make a distinction and just give you just a little bit more because, you know, 18 is considerably better than 15. It depends, though, because for some things I have very little info. For other stuff, I have a lot of info, and then I can grade it. We'll see what I have for this one. Um, okay, so we're up to 31 now. Bunch more stuff for this. The competitor to uh, um... yeah, the rival <laughs> masterwork and exotic. So was the fire the sampon fire or was it the till fire? <laughs> <laughs> Winning clearly. I mean, look at my fucking shack. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, you're done. All right. I think you've been down this way. Oh, well, nothing's numbered. Yeah, uh, that's because there's nothing to number. On oh. There we go. The mm, blandest high street. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. Mm. Uh, yeah, on this street, there's. I wonder, have you been through this specific? Uh, no, we went. No, I didn't go through High there. Street.
Oh, I shouldn't have told you. Uh, what happened? Well, I shouldn't have told you that there's nothing here. You should have just discovered it by going down there. But I uh, was just trying to figure out which way you'd gone before. And uh, <clears throat> precisely because there's nothing, we can't, I can't remember if you've been here before. But I think you definitely been uh, in the streets to the south. Like, I yeah. think it's kind of hard I... right now to get back to the Rusty Dragon in some way that you haven't been already. <clears throat> Because so I went through Festival Street and then through Crab Street. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, climb through alleyways. If you, you you could go through alleyways if you wanted to take them through a scenic route, but uh, you know I'm not gonna tell you in advance. Let's play the, like a mini game if there's is anything there or not. Yeah. Uh, Look, go down this alley only if you were planning to anyway, before I told you. Uh, you know, I don't think you were planning to go there, were you? You're just going to go down High Street, so just go down High Street. All right. <laughs> the guys in, um, in Corvosa... If they wanted to go across town, it would take them a whole day. Like, it would take them six hours or something like that. The whole game, just to go across town. So we have to find mechanics where the first time they want to go somewhere, they have to walk block by block, you know, square by square. But after they have a, a, a place on the map, they can fast travel there. As long as nothing happens on the way. Uh, with you, it's not that important. I mean, we could do it later. Yeah, we could do it later. Definitely, if you want to, like, just jump between. So if you want to go to the Rusty Dragon right now, you can just tell me. We go there, and unless something happens on the way, then you could just, boom, we flash there. Or you can you can walk around. Maybe you'll find more stuff, you know, whatever you want. I, I'm right. going to write those uh, those rules down because, you know, uh, this, this is very important also for Tailspire. I was telling, I was telling you guys earlier, yesterday. Uh, earlier for me because I haven't slept. Yeah, for you yesterday, I was telling you that I was telling them shock that in Tailspire you can you can um, make so much terrain. Let's say that between two towns it's like 50 miles, right, mm -hmm. or 100 miles. You can actually make 50 miles or 100 miles. So that if you want to move your and every square is five feet, so you can move five feet, five feet, five feet for 100 fucking miles. <laughs> That's basically like walking in real life, 100 miles. Yeah. So that means you're going to have to keep pressing the up arrow on your keyboard for like three hours, for five hours to get. That's how big it can get. Um, so I need to find a solution for this. And, uh, you know, the solution that the CRPGs make is that they make everything ridiculously small. So you have the town the town in Divinity Original Sin. And like one screen later is, you know, the, the, the hell level. Three screens <laughs> later, it's like mm. playing for a gun the coming out of the town. <laughs> everything, everything is like three minutes walk from every everywhere else because they don't want to build, um, you know, miles and miles of. But the way that the Pathfinder, Kingmaker, and the other one make do this, I think, is that they don't let you walk between towns. When the time comes to go between towns, it pulls up to an overworld, and you get a little token that you move between towns. And that's what I think. That's what the Factorio, the the Factor, the developer Factorio, the 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 director. Uh, we were ex exchanging some emails, and I told him about these games, and he says he hates them because the mechanics are fucked up. So I think he wants to walk to every house. But the thing is, the way the Kingmaker, the Kingmaker, and other the righteous do, that is the correct way to do it. That is that gives you a sense of scale, how far away things are. You know, and if there's a random encounter, the game stops and it and it zooms in and it shows you what happened. You know, it could be in the middle of a forest or whatever. But if you want to be, if you want to walk every square from one town to the other, then you're gonna have to walk for three hours. And then, oh, I forgot my sword back in the. Uh... <laughs> I had to go back and get it. But the way that I would do it, if I could, if I could do it the way I wanted to, is, I would zoom out like in Planter and Annihilation. So I would zoom in all the way in Tailspire to play the encounters and then when I wanted to do overland travel I would just zoom out and I would have a, um, the more you zoom out the faster time goes that's how I would do it so that if you zoomed out 5x zoom 
it would go much faster if you're 10x zoom it goes faster if you 20x zoom uh and then you just zoom out as pa and you see him moving that's how I would do it if, if, but in Telspar, you cannot zoom as much as you want, zoom out. You know, there's a certain uh, maximum zoom out. So, uh, what I would do is, I would make them walk the first time they go somewhere. Uh, but even that might get a lot, because what if you roll for an encounter every four hours? So, I roll for an encounter. So, the next four hours, there's no encounter, because you didn't roll it. That means... What, you gotta walk for four hours and that's the game? Because there's no encounter. So nothing's gonna happen yeah. for the next four hours. The only thing is the difference is that in the in the Telspar maps, there will be uh, if you if you go out there will be all sorts of locations to discover. There will be caves, there will be uh, shacks in the middle of the forest, there will be all sorts of stuff. Uh, but the thing is, if you actually draw the whole forest, it would be like a needle in a haystack. So we're going to need rules that you send out scouts and the scouts roll checks and uh, it's complicated. Anyway, but the, what, I, I thought that I would only have to do this in Tailspar, but that's not true. I also have to do it here. I also have to do it here, especially in the massive towns. This town is just about playable. Like if we wanted to play the entire game, you going up and down everywhere, it's just about playable. But if the town gets bigger, it's not playable anymore. So I'm going to write a whole, I have to write like a whole uh, chapter with different, uh, for different zoom levels and for different kinds of towns. And, okay, guys, keep moving. All right. Uh, well, we could try a little bit of, it, of that out right now because I, I was just going to go over to my shop on number five and check right. in with my dad. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, now that I've zoomed out, I see that some of these numbers are much bigger than others, like the five. Let me see. Or some are smaller. They're definitely not the same size. All of them. The five is massive, for example. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. And the twenty-one and the twenty-two. Yeah, okay, so um tell the others where you wanna go and what do you wanna do. Alright. Uh with just enter, not control enter, just enter. Alright. Don't you guys feel like checking out, checking on your old buddy, Victor? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something happened to him. We, uh... <laughs> well, we wouldn't want to walk in on anything, so... Uh, yeah. Okay, so you can type now, uh, we go to my shop, control enter. Right. So, uh, I'm trying to see here, I don't have your father's name in, uh, in the campaign thread on Discord. Uh, I wonder if you gave it to me by direct message. Uh, yeah, I think so. His name should be Tell. Tell Talithel. Okay, I'm gonna move. It might be a bit further back in our DMs. Tell Talithel, you said? Yep. Was his grandfather Tal. called Tal? <laughs> Tal and Tal his and grandfather Tal? <laughs> <laughs> Great friend, Father Tool. I I had to look up a little bit about elves and <laughs> what they like in their naming conventions, and apparently they like kind of 
like alliteration. Okay. <laughs> hmm. How much far back is it? I'm scrolling up now. I don't know what to type to find it faster. We were talking oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I put in tel, T E L, and you'll get it. Oh right, right, right. And then I have a Im I think I sent you an image of him. You have an image here uh, about your uh, father, but it looks it, he's yeah, it looks yeah, yeah. Quite I, young. I, I had an older one. I forgot where he placed it. Oh, it's further down. Yeah, I, I, I told you it's further. Yeah, it's just, it's just down. The, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put that in the game now. It's gonna take me. Uh. Oh, wait a sec. That image that you gave me is Paizo Publishing. It might be in a. In my oh. It might be in an adventure, and I'm now worried about the character you have. Where did you find that one? Um. Uh, I I use the resources we have on uh, on the forum. I don't see it in our conversation though. Let me see. Uh, is it further up? No, because further up we're talking about Dark Sun. I don't. I don't it. The image I took didn't have like a. It wasn't from Paizo or anything. Where did you post that image? Did you post that in the. Uh... Oh, you must have posted it. Okay, you must have posted it in the. Uh... There's no... oh, anyway, there's nothing we can do now about your character's image. If it ends up being an adventure, we'll figure it out when time comes. Uh, we should really do reverse image search and all those. Like Shocks, for example. You know that Shock, the image that you're using for your character, comes from. A fifth edition campaign setting. Oh right. A third party, not Wizards of the Coast. Yeah, I didn't another realize. company made a hardcover book, and I found your character. I don't know if the, if that character has some significance in the setting, or if it's just a generic image. Hopefully, it's just a generic image that covers the. Uh, but I, I need to be more careful about the characters people that are finding. Um, so. Hmm. Yeah, we can definitely not use the worst. Uh, uh, the absolute worst is Paizo images. If it's Paizo image, there's a very good chance it's from one of the campaigns or one of the adventures. You definitely don't want to use anything from uh, from Paizo. Um, so we cannot use that uh, that old elf. That uh, let's let's Google for another one. But you also do what um, what Fantasy Ground does is when they don't have an image because you know they're all 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 the characters in the adventure do not get images. Uh, what they do is they just make a token with the first letter. So um, what I could do is I could pull out assets campaign blue uh yeah blue. And then, you know, when it has it, the numbers up to a uh, hundred, no, it's up to seventy-two actually. No, it's up to hundred. And then it continues, and it has uh, letters. So I could drop a T, for example, right there. And this could be your father in there. You see, it's the same if you pull out and you go to the uh, the bakery. Uh, Alma Avertin, I think it's her name, and she she's represented by an A. Uh, so your old man can be represented by a T until we find something, and uh, if we don't find something, yeah, that, that T should do, should do because you know the, these uh, illustrations are not infinite. So if we st keep dropping them for um, minor characters, then we won't have any for. Uh, Okay, so you're there. You can play. It's your shop. You can go in.
right? Let me let me type something before you type. Uh, You can type. Oh shit, she's a uh, lowercase f. <laughs> oh, it's a sign of respect in that old society, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a small shop, so let me move around. <laughs> Tight. It's big. It might actually be a little bit bigger because uh, now that I know how to do the grid with pixel perfection, it might be a couple. You might have a couple of squares more. We'll see. But you can, you can basically, when they go in a house like this and I don't have the floor plan, uh, you can consider that we're moving the theater of the mind and the tokens are just for, uh, to help us, to help our memory, to know who is in there. It's about who is in there. It's not about exactly there, you know, uh, the exact, uh, the exact position of everybody is in my head at that point. So if you want to ask something, you ask me, um, no, we both said please. <laughs> <laughs> your friends are robots. <laughs> <laughs> you were more emphatic on your first sentence. So. Uh, okay, so there's yeah. something to differentiate it. Hell no, shit. He's not rolling his. Uh, his he's not look at all. <laughs> he's gonna roll now for everything on the map. For everything. <laughs> what do I know about my father? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let me let me just roll for him. Okay, he knows nothing about. <laughs> he knows nothing. Um, he doesn't sleep around. General store, Victor Shaylis. What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> <laughs> Dementia kicking in. Well, <laughs> that was for, that was for Shaylis. He knows nothing about her. Uh, let's roll now. Uh, hold on. The rest of the family.
Let's roll for for the. Uh... Okay, that was for the general store. Let me pull it out. Seventeen. So seventeen, he would know uh, quite a bit, but he would know the secret stuff. You know, a lot of these locations have secret stuff. Uh, you know, not you know uh, where the rune lords are, but you know, they, have, they have their own. You know, every uh, that's that they tell you this uh, when you go to GM school. <laughs> they tell you that you have to give every NPC a secret. You see. Um, it makes them deeper, you know, uh, something that the player does not immediately, uh, it doesn't matter if, uh, if he, if they find the secret later or not, you know, there's all these NPCs, you're not going to find all the secrets, but, uh, when you do find a secret, you, you know, you, it makes you feel that there's more depth to the game and there's more. So, uh, in my mind, the way I interpret these knowledge skills is that only 20 or more gives you a secret, uh, 15 to 19 gives you all the uh, the uh, the generally known uh, so un under under 15 you just get the basics under 20 uh, you get everything everybody knows the general stuff and then above 20 20 and above you get the good stuff crazy um, so this guy knows it, it, it makes sense he knows everything except uh, you know the good stuff Be back in a sec. <laughs> so he knows about the general store. Oh. At this point, uh, hold on. Oh, are you gonna type anything more? I was gonna type something. Above roll was for uh, general door. And now I'm gonna roll, oh, okay. And I'm gonna roll another one. And that's gonna be for the owner. Um, Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm back. You're still unconscious, you haven't missed anything. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, to do the mood thing is slash forward slash mood and then in parentheses if I want to say a bunch of stuff, right? Yep. Yeah, that's it. Wait. Huh, so, what class is your your dad? <laughs> uh, well, did, well, all, all I wrote was that he was a, a former adventurer. Oh, okay, okay. So he had he he might have uh, class levels, you know, like uh, not just a commoner. Uh, but it, it makes a difference if he was a rogue too or something else. You see, um, give me something. Uh, make him a rogue too, and since he's renting the shop, uh, who would have what? uh kind of merchant skills? Okay. So I'd say it was kind of similar to that one dude we were talking to the academy, but probably not as successful considering he has this shack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he managed to corner the, yeah. the elf market here, you know. So we'll say that uh, Till is trying to continue his legacy of being an adventurer. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me make a note. So if we're putting like all these stats and skills on him, would I be able to like use them as a mentor if I wanted to learn any other kind of skills later? Well, uh, it doesn't have uh, you know the learning of the earlier D and D versions, so mm -hmm. it's not necessary. We might add them at some point, and yeah, you might be able to use them. And generally speaking, if things get too dire, if things get terrible, then I might allow all the play of the characters to try to draw in help from anywhere they can. So at that point, uh, you know, if, uh, you know, all NPCs that you know and that are within reach, you could try to reach them and then we might roll diplomacy or whatever um, to try to get them to help you out, etc., etc. And, you know, if it's your father, you, you get some, some bonuses for that, obviously. And then all their skills would come into effect. Uh, definitely, if you need something, you can use all the NPCs, including obviously your father. Um, all right, cool. Okay, let me try and see. I've never done this mood before. Let's see if it's going to work. Uh, and then it's just enter, right? Yep.
Mm. Steal shit. Now's the time to ask for money. Chaotic, no, was it lawful neutral versus chaotic neutral? Yeah. <laughs> so you're not new lawful good, you're just lawful neutral. Yeah. Okay. Same as my deity. As long as people follow the correct tax laws, Abadar's happy. Exactly. <laughs> All right, are you going to audit my dad now? <laughs> yeah, I might do. <laughs> He's got to do his KYC and submit all his files. Uh... We have the best prices. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm trying to find a word. It's a simple word, um, but I can't. Uh, when you have a business and you have people, um, not providers, uh, um, suppliers, providers? suppliers. That's yeah. that's all. this uh items that have fallen off the back of the wagon kind of situation <laughs> <laughs>
So I see. What kind of stuff would I be able to have in the inventory in this shop? Yeah, we need to uh, figure that out. It's definitely on my to-do list. And then uh, I guess we got to set up uh, the uh, interior of this place at some point as well. Definitely, definitely. And it looks like we're going to do that with uh, Dungeon Alchemist. I got it now, and it's so easy. Like, I just need to spend, a, you know, half a day to figure it out. And then I export the map with the walls and the lighting, all that stuff is in immediately, automatically, you know? Yeah, cool. And then we just have it in here, and uh, in the future, if they, uh, hopefully there will be a 3D VTT that uh, somebody's making and they're partnering with them, but they're, they're, I spoke to them on Twitter and they said they are partnering with the VTT that's going to be first person 3D, but they cannot tell me, you know, mm. the name or anything like that. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. Um, mm? When I rolled the numbers before, uh, what if he has a plus? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, presumably. Um, so knowledge yeah. local is in what? what is the, um, let me see, uh, intelligence, right? So it depends on his intelligence then. Um, yeah, knowledge is intelligence. And it depends on the class. So with an intelligence of 12, well, let's see, uh, Till has intelligence of 12, 11 is 0. So if I give him intelligence 11, then we haven't fucked up anything. So let's do that. Um, I'll put that in his, in his notes. He has intelligence of 0, but wait, um, however, he would still get a plus 3 in... So I would have to put his intelligence very low so that the plus three would be canceled. <laughs> <laughs> so with with the plus three, if he has a class skill, then he would have gotten seven for Shayliss. So again, he wouldn't know anything about her. He would have gotten twenty though for um, the store. So he knows he knows the dirt. He has the dirt on the store. And he would have gotten 13 for um, the store owner, which is the same as what he got. So the only thing that would have changed is that he has the dirt. Let me let me type that in. Uh, but let me also make sure. Kills. Uh, I think it would be a 14 because you'd need to have a rank to get the plus three. But it doesn't change anything from how it would be otherwise, I don't think. Yeah, he would. So I'm gonna put in his sheet here. He has intelligence. Um, he has intelligence eleven, which doesn't give him any any um, pluses on the knowledge uh, local, and he has uh, knowledge local um, one rank, and that would give him a plus three. So. Um, Right, I didn't make any mistakes in the numbers. They would be a, uh, it would be seven, twenty, and thirteen, right? Uh, be fourteen because he gets one plus one from having the one rank already, and then another plus three from the class class skill. I don't understand. Uh, he gets a plus one just because it's a class skill. No, so because he's. A rogue and knowledge local is a class skill. If he puts a rank in it, he gets an additional plus three to his his score. Okay, so it's zero, plus three. It becomes plus three. There's no plus four. Well, no, because he Why also get because he's got to put a rank in to get the plus three. So he's also getting plus one from having one rank. I thought that when you put the first rank, instead of getting one, if it's a class skill, you get three. And now you're telling me it's four. I think it's additional. I'll just check. I th you, you, you seem to be saying that the plus three is on top of the normal plus one. That's Whereas right, yeah. My understanding is that instead of getting plus one, you get plus three if uh, it's a class skill. Yeah, I'll just find in the in the school uh, uh, rule book.
Victor will remain a virgin now. He will never follow a girl anywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> First the maker rejected him, now this. He might as well get with Aldrin. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's not gay. Or, or do we have to roll for this? I don't know. He's he's still on an adventure. He's you know having we a have personal to roll expression. He's gay. The, the rules say that you roll one d twenty. If you roll one to nineteen, he is tran trans. <laughs> <laughs> he's born that way. That's, that's what the rules say. <laughs> so it works in Galarian. It's like the third. Some, uh, the third some of the journey of personal discovery, right? <laughs> 1 to 19 is trans and 20 is asexual. <laughs> Ultimate <laughs> tranny handbook. <laughs> 20 is furry. Ultimate tranny. Furry. Ultimate tranny rulebook. <laughs> <laughs> you can choose between purple hair or... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I fucked up. I made, it, uh, made him a white male. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so on page uh, 86, go. Sorry, go. on page 86, oh. um, each skill rank grants a plus one bonus on checks made using that skill. Um, and if the skill you're using is a class skill, and if you've invested ranks into that skill, you gain a plus three bonus on the check. I see. So in that case... Uh, I think we've been playing it right. I'm pretty sure the character sheets are set up, including that. Yeah. So that's why uh, Till has plus five knowledge local. That comes plus one from his intelligence. You're saying, and then... Plus, well, I, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove his one rank and see how many uh, goes down. Yeah, without a rank, it's plus one. With a rank, it's plus five. So, so the old man has knowledge, local, one rank. Uh, so, plus four. So, let me type something. Their results of the last four. Of Tells last war knowledge They become so. Uh, let's see. Eight, twenty-one, and fourteen. Eight, come on, twenty-one, fourteen, and finally seven. Okay, so uh, eight and four is the exact same. Uh, 21, uh, yeah, it's like I told you, he knows everything about the store. Everything that goes in the store. Uh, 10 and 14 is the exact same, and 3 and 7 is the exact same. So we, uh, let's... Okay, so, uh... So this roll was for the glassworks. Plus 7, damn, he knows nothing about the glassworks mm -hmm. either. Uh... Yeah, I have I have a reply for that. Um,
Oh, uh, guys, you should see um, Shubin's. Uh, go go to the Insomnia Twitch and check out. Make sure the the tab is muted so that you don't get feedback. Check how Shubin has uh, has made his windows. Of course, he has nothing better to do, but <laughs> check, it, check it out anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, cool. You know that's that's pretty cool. Uh, it shows you know it shows the three D and shows that the uh, all the, you know how to get that image right. Hold on, I'll get that image. For you. It's one of the no, views. No, don't, don't it? put it back. <laughs> Else, I have to resize it again. <laughs> yeah, it's some point for you too for anyone <laughs> going into images. Yeah, we can just find all the images in images. It's pretty neat. Yeah, there we but go. yeah I, I wanted to see where you guys were walking in the 3D map. So I was trying to figure out which building was which. You can see the dragon above the Jurassic Dragon. It's like the most... Uh... <laughs> Let's see. We'd be like right near that dock. Yeah, yeah, right there. Around, around, uh, where is it? Here, no? Well, you don't need to know the exact, uh, the exact, uh, you can find it, I guess, but you don't need to know the exact, because you want to be zoomed out anyway to see the whole neighborhood. Wow, we got six people watching. Oh yeah, it's right next to the dock, yeah. Play, guys. Alright. Uh, we good for food break soonish. Uh, soonish, yeah, uh, yeah, one, one, two. But uh, let's move a little bit. I want to see what you want to do, and depending on what you want to do, I'll tell you when we take a break. Cool. Yeah, I was just gonna order something. <laughs> I, want, I want a nice dad. <laughs> Both of them are bad with with uh, 
<laughs> with Taiko. <laughs> it's because he, uh, he moved here from the uh, far away Noble lands. Man, noble man mm -hmm. and you. <laughs> oh, man. It's a noble man. <laughs> noble, noble man. It's just a, it's a hereditary tick. It's, yeah. it's like Hoddle. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, we all we both roll very badly. <laughs> <laughs> we just do stupid themes. <laughs> we know nothing of the town we live Been in. Been here for a hundred years. A <laughs> <laughs> hundred. <laughs> no, I don't concern myself with the glassworks. <laughs> Haven't for the last seventy years. I'm not starting now. <clears throat> It's not just competition, you know. <laughs> why bother? You know, it's why you you don't know about uh, bread. You know, it's not competing with the bakery. <laughs> uh, you guys want to add anything? Otherwise, I might say uh, we go to the Rusty Dragon. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, you should have you should have you should have talked about that in the game mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I changed the time of day subtly, if you notice. Yeah, know. yeah. Alrighty, so uh, what I want to do now is, let me see. Okay, uh, I, I don't want to pull them, I want to move them. Um, you know what I want you to, to, to type? Um, okay, I'll tell you what I want to delete. Apple line. I want you to retype that line, but I want you to tell me which way you go. So we go to the Rusty Dragon by River Street, or you know. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So because I know where the dragon is, and I don't know if you. <laughs> oh man. Pass through the dragon. <laughs> you don't feel like passing by the general store. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, we'll discuss that in game once again. <laughs> we go to the Rusty Dragon by uh, Shailene's basement. <laughs> by <a> Shailene. <laughs> okay, no reason. Same. We just thought, take the scene. Yeah, the river, street, act. Okay, so now that gives me uh, a way to move you, and that goes a lot faster. So I still want to move you like this instead of like teleporting. Um, I could try and queue up the moves all at the same time. Uh, it's faster for me to just drag these. Uh, these oh, oh, here. you could drag it, and it'll actually I'm just show it on the map. I'm not waiting for any uh, anybody to uh, okay my moves. They look like they're moving kind of drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because of the uh, it's because of the um, the way the squares work. There's nothing I can do about that. Fortunately, that's the most realistic we can get it. All right. So, I have a surprise for you guys now. Uh -oh. I have a very good surprise. <laughs> the dragon is going to break out of that statue. We have to fight a rust dragon. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll see. It's a good surprise. <laughs> so, tell me what you see now. Uh, do you see anything or is it black? Wait. Uh, it's nothing's changed for me. Oh, no. Uh, it's just black. Yeah, just black. It's just black. black. Fantastic. You know what this is? This is the Rusty Dragon, but with full line of sight. Oh, uh, oh because, nice. Because the, I have uh, the Rusty Dragon. Uh, there's a book specifically for Sandpoint. It's called Sandpoint Light of the Lost Coast. And I bought this. I have this in Fantasy Grounds. And I didn't realize that it has the in, And it also, you can pull it out from there and put it in this campaign. And it's fully... Uh, the entire block is not just uh, the entire block, all the floors of the inn, full 
Uh, so we're gonna try to. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, so first, I need to pull up the coma tracker and pull your your um. Do you see anything now? Uh, yeah, I'm starting to see something. No. I see my character. Okay, I'm gonna go to your uh, to your stream to see what you're seeing. Yes, you see the street now. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's the street, and in front of you is the doors of the inn. Uh, oh, but um, Shubin isn't seeing anything, so Shubin is gonna have to go on on Twitch. Yeah, because I'm unconscious. Uh, uh, when you go on Twitch, make, make, sure, make sure that the Twitch, uh, the Twitch um, is muted, you know? Right, so um, you can play now. If you want to open the door, walk up to the door and uh, type that I opened the door. And then I'm going to open I, I don't think, think you can... can if you I, if I mouse yourself? over it, it's got a little icon. Should I have a go? Oh, yeah, closed. I'll walk up. Oh. Okay, one of you, just one of you, uh, either either a sh shock or. Um... Okay, I'll do it. Uh, you can do it, Chuck. Hey. Right. <laughs> you see how it works? Amazing, like a video game, right? Okay, so you can go in now. Uh, hold on, before you go in, I'm just going to put. Okay, you can go in. Oh, nice. I can see her. It's a bit junky when uh, when there's all these uh, tokens and there's, um, you know, so make sure you, you just, you know, do it slowly. And... Oh, so they both have to be open or something? Don't, don't try to, like, no, no, make no, corrections. Uh, just make up your mind first and then move your token. And I didn't touch stuck, anything, he's just stuck there, I moved that. Uh, yes, if it's stuck, you wait a bit, and if it's not, it doesn't get fixed, uh, you know why, because I think you didn't open the door, oh, wait. Yeah, the door's open now. Okay. okay. Cool. And I'm gonna close behind, boom. There we go. Uh, it's it's funny because the people who are watching Shubin's stream now they see a black screen where it says Rusty Dragon, um, and they have to change stream now, so they have to know the addresses of our other streams. And how would they know it if they are outsiders? You know, uh, it looks fantastic uh, if you, if you know which stream to go to, but they don't know. You see, All right? Oh wait, uh, sorry, well, Aldrin is there, but for some reason I didn't have him. I'll put him now. Oh, I know I didn't have him, because I deleted him from the coma tracker. Um, because uh, I didn't want him in that battle, so now I have to... So the moment you remove him from the coma tracker, he goes from the map too. Let me just drop him on the coma tracker first. Right. Anyway, no, I'm just gonna drop it like that. There we go. Alright. Ah, what's it doing? Oh, that was a. No. Yep, yeah, that was good. Well, now you don't have to worry about uh, finding a chair for <laughs> for Aldrin's. Okay, um, no. one of you type uh, Aldrin's. Uh, Aldrin's. Um, yeah, you can see so spare seats. Type right, I can, I can say. I can there. say. Oh, I didn't see either. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. How do I spell Aldern? A L D E R N. Yes. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oops. Um, yeah. What I need to do now is always the same thing. I need to add all the names of the NPCs. Yeah. And now I can type. Now Aldon is heartbroken.
Uh, it's the Sheriff Baylor. Oh, yeah. Aldrin has transforms himself <laughs> He's with in his a... hidden magic ability. <laughs> what? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you sound okay. better. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Are you sure the sleep isn't affecting you? <laughs> 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 Maybe he's just practicing oh, his ventriloquism. Yeah, ventriloquism. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You figured out the secret of the room. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Oof. Urgent business, and we're down uh, one. Garrison is with two S's, right? Yeah, I think so. No, it's two R's. Two R's. Come on. I Google it. I wrote it down in the Sandpoint legend. So, yeah, Garrison. two, two R's, R's, one S. Two R's. I'm in jail. <laughs> Why am I the one in jail? I, I was assaulted. <laughs> this is an outrage. Social injustice. <laughs> <laughs> this is profiling. The profiling of barbarians. <laughs> by the way, you know that you are uh, Shanti beans. You are a native. You're not white. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm a puck. <laughs> oh, man. This is fake news. <laughs> the fake news media is after me. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe you're a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> All along. These barbarians. Can't trust them.
And now I just spend the rest of the adventure rotting in a jail cell. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I mean, shouldn't it? Said, said, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll fix it. I'll, I'll fix it when I reread it. Don't worry about Rolled for uh, the sheriff, Rico. Um, no, I, think I don't you did think eight. No. Okay. Go ahead and roll again. I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if we uh, forget, uh, you know, what you've rolled, because, you know, it's impossible to keep track of all these rolls over days and weeks and months, then it's okay to re-roll. Yeah, you know nothing. He's <laughs> <laughs> the sheriff. The, oh. the, the, the check says that you know less than you actually know. From <laughs> So I, I guess from this roll should have counted from, like, the first time I met him. Uh, no, yeah, no, yeah. Or, sort of. or are we just... No, it, we don't. We don't have to. Uh, wait. Um, roll above was for the shirt. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was for the first. Yeah. But you know, if if significant time passes. And we forget about it, or you learn more about him, then you can roll again. You know. Ah, uh, okay. There's no, there's no hard rule. If we've forgotten about it, then it means it's probably been a long enough time, and you've been around the town talking to people, so we can roll again. You see. Uh, so it, it um, in the long run, uh, you can't know everything about everyone because there's just too many of them, but. Uh, the ones that you've met, at least, if you keep meeting them and you keep rolling, eventually, uh, you know, you should have... Then again, some of these rolls, you know, you have to roll ab above 20 is a lot. So you could be rolling quite a... You know. Yeah. Yeah, you will definitely acquire more information. It's just going to come slowly and... Uh, and by the time it comes, it might not be useful anymore, you know, because a lot of this info, if you had it in the beginning, there was so much stuff you could have known for the two ladies, for their father, for his store. Everything, ha all of these things have a secret, uh, at least one secret, all of them. The sheriff has his own, everybody. Uh, Alder and everybody, everybody. So it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome how it works. 
And 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 things can change so like like you could have aced the last encounter, you have taken the XP, you could have um, you could have been friendly with all this, completely different than what happened if just a few roles were different. Or a few decisions, like you could have you could have told her, look, we're busy, we're going somewhere. Um, but you know what would have happened? If you piss her off, then she would become sort of your nemesis. She would go around town and slander you and <laughs> 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 well, so, she like, already has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you wanted to uh, rebuff her advances diplomatically without pissing her off, you had to make a couple of really hard checks, basically. And uh, it's, it's an interesting encounter. It was an interesting encounter. And uh, it, it, this was like not the worst that could happen. The worst you'd be hanging for it, but it's like the next worst. <laughs> 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 oh, now you're. <laughs> All right. So, um Do I still have a chance with her? <laughs> <laughs> you could actually rape her in frustration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do, do we have uh, ultimate uh, rape mechanics yet? Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to get canceled. Yes, we need justice. Due process. Justice for Victor. Hashtag <laughs> justice for Victor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll write that down in this. The jailer, if you want, you want to roll for the jail jailer. You want to roll for Magnimar. You want to roll for Zarni. Oh, you want to oh. roll for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can roll for it all. <laughs> roll for how, 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 can, how can we how can we do it so that so that you uh, before you roll we designate what you're rolling for. That's what mm. I want to do. Um, maybe you what you could do is you could use just like I use. Um, Okay, tell tell me what you want to roll for first. What was the first thing we could roll for in the dialogue? A few drunks. The Sarni. The Sarni. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Okay. So, uh, hold on. Um, Should chill. I put like an action or something? No, two rolls for. Oh, okay. The Sarni. I'm typing it. Let's see. Right. 22, so you know everything about them. Let's pull them up. Oh, they're thieves, you're a thief, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for the info dump. <laughs> it makes sense that he would know all these for the for the right. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. We're getting an idea of Till's character just from <laughs> what he knows about the <laughs> yeah, He hates bread. 
uh, <laughs> fills out his backstory for us. Yeah. Great. Good reading. So, Barisians and Sarni is not the same. Barisians are like uh, Native Americans. Sarni are gypsies, like a group within a group. Mm. And because the Sarni have a really bad reputation, then, you know, uh, with white people, basically, uh, they think of all Barisians, you know, in a sense. Uh, so, um, Victor is Barisian, uh, but he's not Sarni. You know, he's Shanti. Shanti is the, you know, the, the, uh, the savages, basically, the barbarians. Uh, <laughs> Darnia are the Romans? Yeah. yeah you got to figure it out. And uh, by the way, the sheriff is also Shanti. So the sheriff is the same race as Victor. And the jailer. Uh, I don't know how... You, you might be able to actually see it if you uh, zoom into his face. Uh, the thing with, with um, Victor is you cannot see it because when he chose his, um, his uh, avatar, we didn't know anything about the Shanti. Plus, even if we knew about it, we don't have a lot of Shanti, you know, we don't have... Uh, so, um, because his character looks more, uh, you know, human, normal, like white or whatever, uh, we can just say, uh, well, we could always say that his, his, his mother maybe was, was, um, nor was uh, white or whatever, so he might be half, or, um, you know, he just happens to look like that. You know, it doesn't, doesn't mean that because they're all, uh, they all look the same. Um, I, the only thing that I've, has puzzled me is how to give you the fact that the sheriff is Shanti. I should have told you when you met him. Uh... Okay, I will type something here then. I will type that um, edit chat log. Uh, edit first instance of meeting with sheriff to say that he's shanti um could it be that you just hadn't noticed it uh but i guess that um victor would have noticed it so that's what edit for um so i will do it this way uh whisper it to victor so whether the rest of you have noticed it or not, he noticed it back when you first met him. So I should have just, you know, whispered that to him, that he's Shanti like you or whatever. So now you have it there. Um, and uh, you can roll for the next. So first it was Sarni. Then we have Magnimar. Yeah, let's go roll for Magnimar. Uh, till, hold on a sec. Rolls for Magnimar. Go ahead. I guess you could have done that when we were talking to Alden as well. But yeah, whatever. yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Magnumar, what is that? <laughs> right. um, let me pull out the... Uh, so, just to make 100% sure that under 10, you get nothing. It exists. 10 is for really easy questions. So... Under 10 is for retarded questions. <laughs> <laughs> there is a city, Magnum. He knows nothing. Okay. Um, uh, we have Aldo and, and Marches for Magnum and knowledge. All right. 
Uh, and then what was next? Shanti. Right. Um, the rolls. <laughs> the awesome thing is that this whole uh, dump, lore dump on the Zarni is going to go on World Anvil. So all the other groups, when they browse World Anvil, will be able to read that now. Uh, and I will explain somewhere, you know, you could say that how do they know this? Um, but, uh, you know, not everything is 100% um, immersive, you know, uh, because there is some fun to be had by not being 100% immersive. Uh, I will explain it. There is, uh, you know, if we were playing a fully immersive first person brain jacking VR game, then yeah, you shouldn't have had this information. But we're not playing that game. You know, we're trying to build a whole world, and it's fun to have different groups of people building different little things. But all these things come together into a giant meta plot that all groups can follow and, and affect and interact with. You see what I'm saying? So it's true that you lose some of the fun of the full immersion when you do this, but you gain another kind of fun. And because this game is not fully immersive VR first person brain jacking, you come out ahead if you do what I say. Like, let me give you another example. Normally, you shouldn't be able to watch the other team's streams. You shouldn't be able to read their summaries, right? Um, but if you do this, then what's the difference between playing as a lone group or playing as four groups? Because um, if you're playing as a lone group, then it's just you in the world. You, you know, it's just you in the world. If you're playing with four groups, there's three more groups in the world, and, and what they do affects you, right? But it doesn't affect you every day. So, like, it could take six months, it could take a year, during which time nothing you do affects the other guys and nothing they do affects you. So, for this one year, you'd be playing the same exact as if you were playing alone. So, but isn't it more fun every week to see what the other people are doing and to follow their adventures? And you see what I'm saying? So, you, you trade in some realism, and in return, you get this extra fun of playing with 16, 17 people instead of playing with three people. And I think, in my estimation, that on balance, you get more out of it if you play this way. And if we get to a point where what happens in the other campaigns matters uh, imminently, let's say that your group is right next to the other group, and then, then we can go dark. At that point, we can say these two groups are not going to be streaming anymore. They're just going to be recording the videos, and we're going to be holding them. And you won't be able to read their summary. You see what I'm saying? Just for the time when the two groups are near each other and they affect each other radically, then we can go dark for a week, a month, two, three months. Otherwise, I think it's more fun if we do it less immersively. You get me? Okay. So, um, Till rolls for Shanti. Go ahead and roll. Jeez, okay. He knows everything about the Shanti as well. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Victor. It's going to get nuts now because you'll see why it's going to get nuts. You'll see. The whole history. <laughs> you'll see. We'll be here all day. See, this is this is why he does it. He knows nothing about some of those buildings out there. He's just <laughs> studying all this. Yeah. Uh... Okay. Yeah, uh, basically, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a bunch more stuff, but I'm not going to, you know, it's a huge, the Shanti wiki, wiki entry is huge. I'm not going to give you the whole thing, but in the future, if you need something more on the Shanti, uh, we might be able to refer back to this role for me to give you more. So we'll see, we'll see. But for now, let me... Uh, Mm. 
now we've unlocked the Shanti book. I guess I should just order my food now so it arrives roughly when we're gonna break. We're gonna stop in a couple of minutes. Okay, let, let them finish reading first. I'm done. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm done. So, you could roll now for uh, Hold of Belkson, for Lands of the Linnor Kings. For, <laughs> uh, we'll see. I, it depends on exactly how the, the knowledge local check uh, works because I'm not sure exactly how it's worked. Is it is it only working where you are the local of, or uh, maybe what if you went to a neighboring nation? Then it wouldn't work at all, or would it work with the modifier like minus five, for example, something like that? I need to research that. Uh, we don't have that problem. So you know, um, what if the other people, uh, the uh, the other players in your team, if they put some ranks into knowledge local, would they get knowledge of Varizia, or would they get where their locals from? You see what I'm saying? I don't I don't know how that works. Can you roll for the entire planet or just the place where you're from? Um, and if you move to a new planet, to a new place, how long before you can roll up for that place? You see, for the time being, it's not an issue because the other person who has this is, um, uh, you know, we have we have one person who's from Opara, the other was from Corvosa. So everybody's rolling for their own places. But when you start traveling, that's when we're going to run into this problem. So uh, we have all this stuff. Okay, so I, what I want is I, I want um, the sheriff to say something and then he wants to leave. You can say whatever you want to him and then we stop for food. So, um... He rolled, uh, he has survival plus five, he rolled seven, plus five equals 12. And he needed 20 or something. Remember those uh, high survival checks? I went back and I looked at them. The DC was way higher than 12, the 12 that he rolled.
I guess Till could roll for the gang. Uh, or no. For gangs in... Uh... In some point. Yeah, you could. Do you want to roll? There. Hold on. Uh... Go ahead. Fifteen means, uh, yeah, he has decent knowledge of the gangs. Hmm. Right. All right, this is actually a good place to stop because the, while I eat, I can research that because it's complicated. You know, it's not. It's not centered on one building, it's all over town or different places maybe, so I would have to. So it's a great place to stop. Um, uh, what, do you, what do you guys think? How much time should we take? Uh, half an hour maybe. Uh, half an hour gives me enough time to order and to do everything I have, but my food is going to take an hour. So that means uh, about an hour from now, I might have to take, I, I can eat in like five minutes. So, does anybody need more than half an hour? Nah, it's five minutes. Uh, maybe 45 minutes. So, okay. that's, that's okay. fine. Um, 45 minutes, yeah, it will be exactly, let's do exactly 8 p.m. for me or whatever it is for you in 45 minutes, you know? Yeah, yeah, that works. 45 right. minutes for you guys. Oh, All right. Let's see that right now. Yes, yeah, so you guys let it. Cool. <laughs> Alright. See you in a while.
Ha, <laughs> Ha, <laughs> 
Who's back? <clears throat> Check, one, two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we said eight is another nine minutes. Okay.
Anyone there? I'm here. Uh, food hasn't arrived yet, unfortunately. Really? What did you order? Pizza. Okay. Uh, but I can just like mute myself, have a bite, swallow, yeah. unmute, etc. Yeah, that will work. Hey, I'm back. Hey, do hey. We're waiting for uh, Shub and Rico. Really, for for Rico, because Shub needs superfluous at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's having a real fun session now. Well, he did have a battle. So. Yeah, that's true, that's true. All right, I'm back. Okay, okay so if you check the uh, chat log, uh, by the way, uh, Rory said that... Wait, wait. Uh... Let's give let's give Shub a few a few minutes because uh, it's early anyway. Um, so let's give him a couple of minutes because I'm gonna say stuff that it's better if he doesn't miss it. I'm back. Right. Okay. So um, Rory is ordering pizza and it hasn't arrived yet. So when it does arrive, he's just gonna basically mute his mic and just eat a, a you know uh, eat slowly or whatever you know. In many of these, uh, when people meet for a weekend, they sometimes they eat on the table. I would never eat on the table because you have your books and stuff, but you know other people do, so it's not a big deal. So uh, if you look in the chat, I said we'll give results to Till's gang knowledge check next session. So um, I, I put this in my notes. So next time he's gonna get a dump. Well, it's not gonna be a lot of info. Fifteen. It's gonna be decent decent amount of info. I just want to make sure. I've collated everything and given him the right amount of um, info about the gangs in the town. So, um, You want to say something or no? Yeah, I will. I can't, he can't leave unless I open the door. It's pretty cool.
To rape <laughs> 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 You know what I should have done? I should have rolled sense motive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Like she just wanted to get up on your nuts. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I forgot the B. Just the local dialect. Okay, food's here. Back in a moment.
Okay. get to taste the delicious boar that we hunted together. <laughs> All that effort wasted. Be better on the second day, I'm sure. <laughs> Dude, the jail food ain't too bad. <laughs> yeah, they like, you know, you're, you're all sure anti.
Nice. I'm meeting go good tonight. <laughs> <coughs> I just saw Schumann <laughs> post on Discord.
not a language I would recognize. No. Nope. Okay. Well, uh, let me check your languages. Do you speak draconic? Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, you got a bunch of languages there. Nope, it's mm. none of those. Uh, <clears throat> no. You can oh, roll I... uh, to see if you know him. Uh, actually, hold on a sec, because is he in your line of sight? Let me see. He's in your line of sight, right? Mm. Yeah, we, we could pretty much see the whole tavern. So it's not Varician or Thessalonian. Okay, so um, do you want to roll? Yeah, I'll do a knowledge check. Phil rolls for... Um, let me see something. Elderly man. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna whisper to you. Can you all hear the fire? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, uh, if you, if you can, you can raise it a little bit uh, on Syrian Cape. Uh, everybody, stop talking because this guy came in and started shouting. I roll linguistics to see if I at least kind of know what the language is. Yeah, yeah, let's check it out. Let's see how that works. So I've never, um, we never rolled that before. So, uh, linguistics. The other players can, the other people can play if they want to in the meantime. Yeah, let's see. You can train only. You can decipher nearly any tongue given enough time. So far, I have not uh, learned long. It's so far. It's just saying about reading. Yes, it's... yes, that's what I'm looking at. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's Google it real quick. Linguistics, uh, spoken linguistics. Spoken uh, finder. Uh, yeah, it's there's a thread in the Paiso forum. Uh, I'm going to put it in the Discord.
The guy says that a first level spell makes the skill redundant. So there's a first level spell that... Uh, Dude, that is a complicated Hang on. there. Uh, it gets re if you, you scroll down, there's some really long spells. quotes. It, at the beginning, it starts looking like um, you say level zero, or level one spell. Level one spell. Yeah, it's a okay. Well, I comprehend languages, I'd imagine. I don't have that in my spell book anyway. Yeah. Uh, let's do this. Uh, okay, let's see who's breathing really hard in the microphone. Sorry, I'm over me. Is you? Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a uh, consensus. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know what I can do. Like, I, I can tell you if it's a decent. Uh... <sighs> so that I, I recognize what the language I, I, is. I, knew, but I, I don't... knew a lady. Listen, I knew a lady in Seattle who was a lady, a fat woman who was um, um, studying linguistics, and she surprised me by being able to uh, to recite the entire Greek alphabet with the uh, perfect. Uh, the accent you know it's not theta it's t you know all that stuff all that all, all that all that stuff that you know delta whatever it's very different from how it is mm. uh delta is delta so it's the not de you know it's like it's like with japanese you know when uh, the japanese try to um, so but she could, do it. Yeah. she could do it because there's universal um they have developed the linguistics people universal rules on how to pronounce all letters and she had learned, I, I mean, I, I don't know if she knows pygmy letters or whatever, but uh, she knew the major ones. So, mm. uh, you know, if, if somebody came in and spoke in uh, a language, she would probably know what language it is. Maybe she wouldn't be able to understand it, but she would tell you, you know, that's what I, I'm thinking of telling you if, if you roll well. So let's, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to type... Giovanni rolls uh, linguistics. I have to give you a DC before you roll, though. It, it's bullshit to um, decide the DC uh. afterwards. Let me let me see the uh, detecting forgers here is bullshit. You know <coughs> what we're gonna do with this? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Oh, we're going to go with the messages. Okay. You can decipher in a familiar language. The base DC is 20, but that DC is to understand the messages. 20 for simple messages. 25. You know what we're going to do? We're going to add. Okay. Giovanni also linguistics. DC 15. Uh, no. No. DC 20 to know the language. No, you cannot decipher it. You, no, you, I just, like the other guy said, to decipher the unfamiliar language, you have to have the written script in front of you and a lot of time in your hands and all that and all that. But uh, I'm just going to give you the language if you roll 20. Okay. DC 20. Uh, hold on, this is 20 to know the language. Yeah, just to recognize it, not to actually understand exactly. it. Exactly, exactly. So go ahead and roll in this. Never mind. <clears throat> uh, I'm going I'm to whisper to you, hold on, to W, yeah. and I'm going to tell you that you know nothing. <laughs>
All right, that out of the way. Uh, what were you doing? Um, okay. Not that. Yeah, you can play. Now that you know his name, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, so just put it somewhere on your screen. One of you um, also has um, One of you also has Aldern on the screen, so I'm going to send you him too. So put him somewhere as well. He's a rune lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, who doesn't have the map pinned? It's uh, Rory. Do you mean yeah. the the Rossi Dragon? The Rossi Dragon, yeah. At the top right, there's an arrow. Yeah. Click it. Uh.
just click it and it's gonna supplant whatever else you had before yeah that's it
You could have acted there. You could act the whole time, but you know, I try. I gave you some time, uh, but I could not say anything. I, I could not ask, like, do you do anything? You know, I can't do that. So, uh, you could have acted there. No XP of this interaction, uh, and there's other stuff that could have also happened if you intervened. I know it's hard to intervene, you know, especially, you know, if you're used to video games and you think you're watching a cutscene. Uh, I'm going to explain it somehow. I think I've, I've spoken about this before. I don't know if I've spoken it to you. It's better to try something and get a response from me that you can't do it than to not try and wait for me to ask you because I'm not going to be asking you. You know, it's better to throw stuff in the wall and see what sticks. You see what I'm saying? Uh, if you say that, for example, uh, I don't know, somebody's leaving and you want to speak to them and you're not sure, do I have time to speak to them? You can speak and maybe they won't hear you and they will get but it's better than to like not do anything you see what i'm saying it, it, uh, you have to learn to like be active in this game uh if you if you observed how um dan is playing dan is always has a has an opinion for everything has a has something to do uh he has you know he's active whereas the new players generally just waiting for stuff to happen if you're waiting for stuff to happen you know you you need to want to get in there and, and make stuff happen. Uh, obviously, there, there's, there's times where, you, you know, it's better not to do anything, but um, you're going to be losing out on a lot of the game if you're... Now, now I'm telling you, it's not, it's not, it wasn't a huge deal. You lost... Um, I can tell you how much you lost. You lost maximum uh, <clears throat> 400 XP if you had helped her and 600 XP if you had play uh, if you had particularly done uh, particularly good role playing at my discretion so you know 100 150 each well actually it would be more now because shubin isn't here and um and then you have gotten a plus four in uh, interactions with uh Ameko, and she will give you another week free stay <laughs> at the, um, at the mm -hmm. end, and free meal for today uh, I can't remember if there's anything else. There's a lot of stuff. Like that was that was a whole encounter you just blew by just uh, not doing anything. Uh, on the other hand, um, on the other hand, you know, it, it it does make sense. You know, when you see it's a family dispute, why should you get in involved? You know, why should you get in? So I'm not saying it's bad what you did in terms of role playing. Um, I'm just you know, it's the tutorial. You know, I'm just trying to show you how the game works. As long as your character can do something you can do it or at least you can try it. and you never lose anything by asking me hey isaac can i say something now you see what i'm saying you never lose. if you're not sure you can just ask me a voice and i will tell you immediately yeah sure you can do whatever you want uh but you know it's it was it was a weird situation you know i uh, you know and there was all these text blocks and people think you you can do yeah, stuff with text blocks 
you can do you don't have to wait for the text blocks to finish if you're always waiting for the text blocks to finish you won't get far in this game i did start typing something and then another text box popped up yeah, I was like, yeah oh, i need should, to read that you, and should, I didn't. you should you should you should try forcibly to inject that's what i'm trying to pass on yeah you should try to inject your action between the text blocks between the actions of the environment otherwise you always be passive you mm. should even even if even if uh, you you mean to say something between two text blocks and it comes out after i can we can say that it happened before you see what i'm saying okay. if, if it makes sense we can add a little note that says that it happened before because otherwise i would have to wait 10 minutes between text blocks just to make sure you guys are typing so you know it's also harder on a vtt because if we were in a table you wouldn't have to type anything you could just open your mouth and start speaking whereas now you have to type the entire sentence whereas on the table you could just start with the first word and when i would hear the first word i would shut up you see what i'm saying so it's a bit harder this is a bit harder on the uh vdt but the vdt has other advantages you know that we have the chat log we can remember what we said and all that i definitely prefer the vdt 100 percent um but we have to learn to play and uh, you know you have to you have to be more pushy, more active. That said, there's there's some players who are naturally passive, you know, like Dynapo, for example. Um, although, you know, lately he has been doing, he has been, he has been, uh, he has been. I think it's helping him that the VDT is helping him. So, you know, that doesn't mean that everybody has to be. Imagine also if the if the team is six people or eight people sometimes. What if eight people want to, you know, do something at the same time? Well, then we pause the game and we take it, you know, turns. You know, we do whatever has to be done. Uh, but uh, yeah. Anyway, it's not it's not a big deal. You know, you lost 400 XP. It's just one little uh, random encounter. Well, and you lost all the XP with the uh, also with Shayliss and her dad. You didn't get any XP. <laughs> You're not doing that well. I do a knowledge check here. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead. Let me see. Uh, hold on. Till rolls for. Oh, you know the name because people have been screaming it. Go ahead. Nineteen. Uh, yeah, it's the fifteenth stage basically. deal with this and right after this I'll give you the uh so 
Uh, so there's 50 GP in the party sheet. Uh, unless you uh, you don't want to take it, I can hit the uh, key to disperse it between you. Wait, you said it's showing up on the party sheet right now? Uh, you can't see it. The, at the oh, bottom, yeah. at the top yeah. left, it says yeah, 50 GP. I can see it now. Oh, okay, okay, I see it. I was, I was just in the wrong tab. Yeah. Right. Forget about the tabs. Uh, I'm waiting for your response from you, and uh, depending on what you say, I can... I can uh... <laughs> All right, we should disperse it. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's easiest, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. I guess we'll, we'll need to put in that we give... No, no, Nick you don't have to type anything. I just boom. There we go. And 2GP no. is left over and it stays there. Yeah, but you, you gave some to me. Oh, that's true. Well, yeah. they'll give you a cut after, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if you make it out. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will pay for my lawyer. <laughs> no, I, I. Now Rico wants to roll for Naos district starts with the plaza. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll give you the knowledge local now. Don't I owe Martyrs money? Um, for their map, I think. I thought we already split the... Split the cost of that. I don't remember anything from there, but you can check... Uh, you can check the chat look for next time. And you yeah. Can... Well, I'm pretty sure I didn't have enough to even the split. You could always but say yeah. in the chat that... that uh, you'll give me your, your extra coin.
And they play the goblin song. <laughs> I think you can take the GP from the party sheet. Play around with your windows. Uh, try, you don't have to have Aldrin there now. Just get uh, you know the two images from the two.
Do they actually have a guy with multiple arms, or is that just artwork? Oh. There's a war on nature, and we can all choose what to do. So if you feel like I feel the love of the earth, well, you can be an earth warrior too. Cause I'm a warrior. How about you?
just about to move. Roll charisma check. Um, hold on, before you roll, there's modifiers. You would have a plus four on this roll if you had help with your father. You have a plus four because you're local heroes in the community, so it would be plus eight. Uh, but now it's gonna be just a plus four, so... Hold on. Uh, so I think it's just a straight plus four. Okay. Whoops. Sir, charisma. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sir. Hold on. Yeah, sir. <laughs> uh, you're supposed to be leading, so you go first. Yeah. The beast eagle is between. This, by the way, is the first stage of my seduction mechanic, so now you have a date for, for tomorrow or another day. I was just about to start moving, <laughs> and then Mark just moved. <laughs> oh, you snooze, you lose. I was, no, I, was, no, I was trying to fit all these fucking <laughs> images of my iPod. He was like, zoom and fit them, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, now I can move. Oh, no, I can't. Image manipulation efficiency is what gets you the girl. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, that was a beta move, right? <laughs> I blame IC, it's too many images, man. <laughs> I'm just staying out of this, man. <laughs> just enjoying the show. Should I type in I dance with the Mako or just just leave it? Uh, you can yeah, you can you can type it every once. Huh? I do the robot. Yeah. Surprisingly <laughs> <laughs> flirty for a uh, pious. Eric of the, of the town oh, you know, Abadar believes in a strong family. It's up to you which images you want to keep now, yeah. you know, uh, but try to keep a bunch of them, you know, two, three at least. Check out the bouncer in the door, in the front door. <laughs> if you're down there. Rory has a great setup, guys. Check Rory's screen. 
I also like Lethal. He has he has the main two, uh, the band and Ameiko, the last one. That also looks good. It's nice to have variety. You don't have to have exactly the same setup. Was it worth it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Version Giovanni versus. I have an entire uh, concert worth of music. You can sit here and listen to music for a while. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go to sleep, whatever you want. And Giovanni sits down, seethes, and gets drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the Alpha Martyrs. Well, the <laughs> thing is, the longer we stay, the less there is for, you know. Shovin's just... <laughs> he doesn't I'm get the answer. Shubin completely lost a chance. <laughs> <laughs> he went for the town whore, and he ended up in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to kill some rats, man. <laughs> the pious <laughs> just wanted that Alpha sweet experience. <laughs> I think she's a lesbian. Spring to a player is just slash W their name and then whatever you want to say, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, whisper at their name, you just type the first two letters, so first letter and you press uh, first tab. tab. Searching for a war, growing to 
embrace each strife and battle Let swords and clash and chariots rattle Seeking out the one whose time has come to take the blame Morrigan's and grown of war I see her face, I'll cry no more Morrigan's and grown of war Come lift me on your wings Morrigan's and grown of war I hear your voice, I'll breathe no more Morrigan ancient throne of war Come set my spirit free Yeah, there's a lot of shit going on. Okay. I'm gonna try to walk out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just do it slowly. I mean, that's all you'd be doing if you were full of people anyway. Immersive lag. You can bring up your uh, standpoint in the map now, Rico. Because otherwise you have a blank screen right now.
<laughs> you know what happened? It was the music. It was the um, next the, to the playlist. Or... The fist fight music. <laughs> it's Schumann going back. <laughs> the fight in a jail cell. Yeah. It's going to be a lonely night for Giovanni.
Hey guys, go upstairs. So, uh, as for the seduction mechanics, um, we will have first an attraction roll, and this will be a simple charisma check. The DC will be determined by the uh, the female, I guess. You know, if if she's a princess or if she's a you know a, uh, the, her level, all that stuff. I'm going to determine the DC um, based on that, and then you roll the DC. But there will be uh, well, there's there are uh, modifiers like the local heroes, for example, the plus four. Uh, there could also be negative modifiers. And um, so from now on, uh, whenever you see a female, um, as long as she is a named NPC, named NPC means that her name is in the adventure. It's not just an old lady that I made up. Now, how would you know if a name NPC or not? Well, you ask me. You know, sometimes it's obvious. I'm Eiko, it's obvious. But if it's not obvious to you, you ask me in voice, you know, is she a name, uh, named NPC or whatever? And if she is, then like I said to Shubin the other time, you can just type, I hit on her. Uh, and that's neutral. That means there's no bluses, no, bon no, neg no bonus, no penalties. And uh, if you, if instead you want to try a pickup line or something or a gambit, you know, um, then you type it, control enter. And then I can, the plus and the minus is in my discretion, it can be anything. It can be plus one, minus one, it can be plus four, minus four. You know, generally speaking, if it's minor, it will be minus one, plus one. If it's um, medium, it will be plus two. If it's, if it's large, it will be plus four. And then plus four or minus four will be the maximum, except it's something egregious. You know, if you do something extremely stupid or extremely amazing or whatever, uh, you know, it could be higher than that. Um, so that the only thing that that uh, accomplishes uh, is uh, there's a spark of attraction, which means that uh, you hang out a bit and then uh, you can see her again the next time. So it has to be another, another, uh, you know, another, um, it could be another day. It could also be um, later the same day, but under different circumstances. And it cannot be bullshit like, okay, I exit the tavern and then I come back again and now it's the second. Um, all that is actually, it's actually part of pickup theory. So w when you go to pick up a girl in the club, they tell you, you know, uh, um, first you talk to her for a bit, but you, you should break up the interaction and then meet her later in the night so that the second time you meet her, it feels to her like she knows you, you know, you're not a stranger anymore. You, you know, you're so, uh, there, there's a, a specific term for that. I used to know the terms. I don't, I don't remember it now. Um, and then you can do it two, three times a night and it, it works. It works well. You know, it builds familiarity instead of like, you know, sticking on her the whole night, like a leech or something like, um, uh, so my system is based on, uh, on quite a lot of pickup. It's quite, it's quite realistic. All, all things told, I, I should sit down and write about it. But the main thing for you guys that matters. Now, so tomorrow, um, Martus can, so the, he has passed the attraction stage. So tomorrow he can try to set up a date. So uh, because he passed the attraction state, say a stage, he can set up a date as long as it's logistically possible. So if the dragon lands tomorrow and the whole town burns and he cannot find a Mako, then he's not going to have the date. So that's also why uh, you want to like kind of hurry because you don't know what's happening in the adventure. You know, there could be an invasion tomorrow and you might not see her for months. Um, and we're going to have mechanics. What happens if you don't see her for months? You see what I'm saying? Uh, because, you know, the longer it takes for the date, and ag again, that's exactly how it works in reality too. You know, you meet a girl in a club, you need to meet her soon-ish. You don't want to, you know, call her three months later. You're not going to get anything. Um, so, 
yeah, I'll have the rules worked out uh, so that tomorrow it would make sense for him to try to get a date. He could try to get a date the same day. He could say try to get a date the next day. And what happens on the date, um, basically, you can keep dating as long as you want, uh, but you're going to have to keep passing again and again this attraction. So I haven't decided exactly when. It could be once a week or twice a week. You're going to have to keep passing the attraction test again and again. If you fail one, then, you know... Uh, we could have, we could have that, that's exactly how it is in a relationship. You know, you meet a girl, you hang out, uh, but she keeps reevaluating you and you keep reevaluating her. And this, the relationship could end at any moment. Now, if you want to take the relationship higher to like um, uh, marriage or children or all that, then we're going to have a very, uh, we're going to have a list of like her levels and your levels and your status and her status and her family and your family and we're gonna add there will be a lots of tables and we're gonna add up all these tables and they're gonna be a roll uh and 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 if the, and if the the let's say she's a queen and you're you're you know first level rogue then you know it's you're gonna need to roll more than 30 or 40 or something so you need to you need to um as your character advances his chances become better and better with um with better and better uh, prospects, I guess. And then we need the procreation mechanics, uh, which means we need like uh, DNA combination and stuff like that. Like, because uh, what are the child's um, stats gonna be like and stuff like that. So that's, that's quite, but I think a bunch of this stuff has already been done by this company, Legendary Games. So I want to look that further, but we don't need to look that hard. For the time being, uh, we just need the basics for next week. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, that's what uh, Martis, uh, what Shaw can do tomorrow morning. He can try to get a date. But keep in mind that everybody else can hit on any named female in the game. It's not just Ameiko. There's a lot of them. Uh, I'm trying to remember if you if you already yeah. met it. I think so. Uh, after I, I didn't act with Ameiko, I could have gone to her old waitress, you know. She's named. <laughs> Yeah, you get one of the old ladies. Yeah, it would have been easy. <laughs> I think uh, we met the Baker woman. Oh, yeah, the Baker that's... woman. Uh, there's always uh, Shailene. 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 Oh, Shailene. Shailene. No, no, no. And her no. sister. <laughs> sister. No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> the town bimbos. <laughs> <laughs> Victor General also hose. missed his final chance with Aldrin. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to pull up uh, the map. We have uh, about... Uh, how much time? We have? Uh, an hour and a half? An hour and 20 minutes or something, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, just about. I can keep going. Yeah, I'll go for longer than that, but if you guys can't, that's fine. Shoot no, we usually has a hard stop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I gotta we, be at the office tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a long time. We we made a lot of progress. No, it's it's uh, we, you know, it's no problem. And uh, we might even be able to play. It depends next week because uh, because Exile got in the accident. Mm. We can't play, so I need two groups. So maybe one of them will be you. I'll let you know later in the week, and you can tell me if you can make it. Uh, it's too early now for that. Okay, so uh, let me send you the map again. Did I send you the map? Okay, get the map, everybody. Um, first, I need to fix the... Uh... Should I close the Rusty Dragon now? Uh, the Omnia stuff, you can close it. Yeah, that's the one. So, I switch the time back to early morning on the main map. Uh, let me put till in the shop. Okay, and now well, you know where he is. He's going. He's in prison. So let's put him in prison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's in the garrison, right? Yeah, the garrison has a jail on the on the, on the, mm. on the basement. Oh look, I'm walking down the streets. 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. I should have just deleted it and then put it back again. And uh, Martis here and Giovanni is here. Okay. Uh, I woke up in the morning. Now, of course, it's tough. We have three different groups. Uh, let's play first the Rusty Dragon group. Um, oh, by the way, update the home. calendar. It's been it's been a full night. Um, so let's say from about five p.m. It's oh. more than twelve uh, hours. It's more than twelve hours. So Victor should get uh, at least uh, let's see, five p.m. to five. No, let's say let's say the fight happened at five p.m. And now it's 8 a.m. So that's, isn't that um, 13 hours? No, wait, 15 hours. Plus, five, um... 15 hours. 15 hours. So that means he has uh, seven hit points. Um, he, he, he has seven hit points. No, wait. Um, seven he has seven, seven. Wounds. Seven, seven wounds. So that means he has um, eight hit points. Martus also still isn't maxed. Yeah, well, he I've, wasn't maxed out. Yes. Yeah, I've got two wounds, so I need to heal one. Um, so because you slept one night, you heal one, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I fixed that. Uh, so in seven hours, so about um, what is it, three p.m. or something? Uh, Victor is gonna have no wounds. But a massive headache. And it's got to re-memorize. Two magic missiles, one cause fear for me. Hold on a sec, don't do anything oh, there. Oh, oh. Um, GM notes. Okay, I'm just gonna type here that Victor fully heals at. Uh, it's 3 p.m., isn't it? 8 a.m. Plus seven hit points, yep. seven hours. Yeah, it's 3 p.m. So Victor fully heals at 3 p.m. So I got that there. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, let's do first uh, Rory spells, actions. Okay, so level one. Um, cast, yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, one co sphere, two magic missiles. And I'm looking at the uh, shock spells keep... now. Oh, sorry, go. What's that, there, Rory? Oh, I was just saying we can keep the level zero ones the same, but yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's fine now, right? I don't need to do anything. Yeah, 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 it's good. Okay. Okay. So, um, let me look at combat. Uh, have you, it says cast zero out of five. Uh, yeah, we were tracking those in the abilities tab. I've, oh, I've re I re see. refreshed all of those. So we don't need to track it there anymore. Is that, is that what you're saying? Um, for the channel energy, you mean? Yeah. I think we can do it in either. I've, yeah, I've got them in the abilities tab with the number I'm allowed to use, and I can manually change that because that, that way it shows in the, the chat how many I've got left in the day. Okay, I'm going to delete the channel energy from the class abilities. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. Anyway, um, you know what I should have done? Uh, channel, hold on. Special abilities, right? That's what it is. Um, no, it's not in special abilities. It's in... Um, it is in special abilities. Nope, I don't see it there. I you know, deleted it. Oh, uh, where is it, man? Um, is it in skills? No feats. It's not in feats. I don't know why I can't find it now. I look at the cleric. Maybe if I look at the cleric, it will be draggable from there. No, it's not. Oh, okay. It is in class features. You can drag it from there. Okay, that, that makes sense. And uh, okay, boom.
so uh, it says there on the six so in your class abilities is there if you just want to consult what it does but if you want to use it you use it from um, from the actions from the actions and uh, you have five right that's right so your spells you haven't cast any spells so everything's oh oh wait the prepared I have to how do I fix this no prepare three out of three there's nothing to do on your sheet right yeah, that's right. I'm going to keep the spells the same as, as yesterday, so I don't I don't think I even need to prepare any new ones since I've not cast them. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Uh, so that's with the spells. Okay, so uh, the two of you, you can play. I'm actually going to put the rusty dragon in since you're in the end now. Oh, can you send it to me again? Uh, did you... Yeah, I closed it before. You want me to send you what? Are you sending us the Rusty Dragon again, or are we just... No, no, you're playing like that now, unless you want to do okay. something complicated. No, 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 no that's fine. Turn. You're thinking very yeah. carefully about what you say. <laughs> I'm testing to see if Giovanni can read minds. Uh, you know, remember, you press enter to speak. Yeah, I, I had control press works. And... Um, Rory, check Shock's uh, stream. Oh, okay. Rec recall too. Check Shock's stream. All right. Try to do that since you're not doing anything anyway. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh yeah, that. Uh, did we say if Till was going to meet us here, or I can't remember? Did we say anything about that? You didn't have any plan. Any, uh, you hadn't arranged anything. Okay. That I remember. Maybe I'm forgetting something. No, so you not, I'll, I'll spot. No, nothing. Uh, nothing was said. I just said I was okay. heading home.
okay, time to make my move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the toilet. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> you may be old, Wait but what's Martin. necromancy Wait for? <laughs> I have mechanics if uh, one of you uh, hits on a, on a woman and he fails, and then another one wants to try right away, he gets a minus four. Yeah, makes sense. Because of the bi bitch shields, if you've heard it, you know, if you go to the uh, <laughs> bar, that's how it happens. But if you try the next day, yeah, but it, it's the, you don't get the minus. But if you, um, if the same person tries again ever, he gets a minus four, ever. But another person can try at a different uh, instance, and then he doesn't get the minus four. Yeah, oh, women really hate it if they turn you down and you try again. It's really bad unless, uh, you know. Unless it's been a long time. Or and the stats have changed. Unless the stats have changed, the numbers have changed. Maybe, maybe you were a commoner and now you're a nobleman, or maybe you're poor, you're rich, or you're low level, you're high level. Something like that has to change, and then you don't get the minus four. Or if she has mental instability. Yes. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Depression. Yes, that's the best. That's the best. Just cast the depression spell on her. Simple. <laughs> That will work. You know, just just cast that spell that uh, captures people's souls into gems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting for you guys. Mm. Gonna hit on the halfling. <laughs> Half the person, double the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm going to delete these um, tokens. Then I'm going to go to Renscape. You know the busker because it's Main Street. You are in front of the garrison. Play. Oh, well, we were going to Till's shop to pick him up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, miscommunication. You can say that door is there. Yeah. Here is fine. You can play now. You you, you know you heard the knock, so you can play, uh, Rico. Which reminds me, I really should take uh, at least one silver out from each of your... Uh, let me see, can I do this? 
from this sheet here. Oh, I can't. No, I can't. Um, how would I take a couple of silvers? Well, I would have to look at your inventories and fine. Um, okay, I'm just going to take a silver coin for the last night's drinking. From each of your... Um... <laughs> so, that's got for uh, Giovanni. That's done for Martis. <laughs> that's, that's alleged barbarian rapist. <laughs> <laughs> Deleting all the tokens. There you go.
It's not looking good, boys. Okay, follow the guard. Um... All right. Don't bump into the giant seven. <laughs> In the middle. Of... <laughs> Stay away from the. Uh... Or could it possibly be hiding? You stop if you don't stop uh, mocking my uh, we're gonna make more skills, dragon jokes. <laughs> my VCT skill, <laughs> you're gonna make the rulers very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna fudge some numbers now. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so cool if um, Victor had no idea what happened to you and if you had no idea what happened to him and now you'd have to explain to each other but you wouldn't have much time mm -hmm. you tell him go to Twitch <laughs> <laughs> go follow to my link on Twitch <laughs> follow and subscribe to get future updates <laughs> The numbers for the buildings that I have on my map are different from your numbers because you're 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 looking at them in a different uh, order. So I have to go back and forth between two sets of numbers. You won't believe what happened. I I got late. <laughs> 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 I almost had those rats.
I will move your care your uh, because you know we're doing the uh, theater of the mind now so I will move it where I need to Okay, I'm typing some stuff now. I'm sending you also. Uh, I actually got it up already. <laughs> uh, make sure you have this one. It's the higher risk. I have Face. Given you another one. Uh, oh, okay. That's lower risk. This is the, uh, the sheriff. put you uh, roughly and if you want to move around once I put you there you can move around
Ah. Control. Oh, uh, is she from that short story? Yeah. Ooh. Have you all read it or has anybody not read it? Uh, I've read it. Yeah, I, I read it. I read it. <coughs> yeah, I think I did, but don't remember it very well. It's not a huge deal. Uh, you can read it after if you want. It's not. It's not absolute. I mean, because it's not immersive. You know, you weren't there. But on the other hand, you know, it's like a movie where it pans away from the action and show you somebody else. And then, so, if you want, you can do that. You could take that as a name, Gobl Goblin Slayer, the, uh, <laughs> as a nickname for the group. And then on the overworld, uh, you know, when um, when I have to have a name for the group, instead of saying the Sandboy crew, you can say Goblin Slayers. Or you can make up your own, but I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Goblin Slayers. <laughs> Goblin Slayer. <laughs> can have colors goblin slayer red goblin slayer yellow like the power goblin slayer Rangers. magenta <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, Rory, you have the wrong image. You don't have the one I sent you. Uh, close okay. the image we have of, uh, of the... Um, Baylor. Of Baylor, yeah. And... Uh, there you go.
Uh, I don't know if you guys, it's hard to keep, you know, when I switch characters because I all I have the same avatar. You have to keep uh, keep an eye on who's talking. So now it's mm. going to be the mayor who talks. Uh, it, it'll be pretty awesome when we, fi when we fix this and we have the right avatars. It will look amazing. The chat log will look incredible. It'll look like, uh, you know, like a movie script or something. <clears throat>
And now you know what uh, the town, where the town hall is. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, so this is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were gonna roll local on everything again. <laughs> yeah, every single oh, mayor. Roll, you know, you're gonna have to roll local. <laughs> it's the mayor and Shalelu, I guess. But now we know about her, so yeah. Think about how many tokens there are on the map now, because the numbers are tokens too. And we've left people in several establishments. We haven't released their tokens or anything. So there, it's getting, you know, the map is getting, it's getting slower and slower. image says image female human aristocrat I don't know if you want to change the name the, the image yeah yeah hold on oh you're right so maybe you want to put her actual name <sighs> that's what we call her <laughs> <laughs> uh, greetings female miss aristocrat <laughs> oh okay boom because it was an identity <laughs> part Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't change. Change. there's just all these images. I have to manually change the ID and the what? image is one, the speech bubble is another. Are you gonna move your uh, token, uh, Shubin? Oh, I have to move. Okay. I, I had my notes uh, in front of the map. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's busy. You weren't seeing anything. Yeah, just move him a little bit uh, there, and then I'm gonna whisk you. A woman mayor. What is this world coming to? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of medieval society is this? This isn't my Varicia. The woman is a mayor and... Um, We've got a female warrior. hunter. What's going on here? <laughs> At least the sluts are still women. <laughs> well, the ones Can we you know imagine so if that was a tranny? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have dodged the bullet, <laughs> even more of a bullet. <laughs> What's next, a native barbarian? Um, let me fix the time of day outside. Back to the trusty rusty drain. It's the only dragon we've been encountering. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt Icy. <laughs> Well, I mean, he wasn't wrong. <laughs> uh, 
Let me check. Uh, what can you see? You can see just the outside, right? No, uh, I think the, the, kind of the door is open. open. Yeah, the door is open. Now the bouncer has a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah. I believe you. <laughs> and, uh, yes. I'm gonna have to delete a bunch of these. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Like, uh, the more I put in, the more time it takes me to put them in, and then the more time it takes me to take them out. And imagine if I have to put them in again the next night. There's got to be a faster way to do it, but for all reasons. Well, no, there is. You you just copy-paste the map like three, four times. And you set it up for two, three different occasions. Early morning, dinner, fiesta or something. And um, don't sit on top of each other. Not the kind of place. It's still early morning. There's almost nobody in here. Okay, you can play. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Wait, I think I could delete it. Cancel move. Okay. How do you cancel moves? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. And I'm wary of rooms in the back now. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will have to be on top of each other. I think we can move on to half squares, can't I? So I could, mm. I could maybe go up against that wall. Okay, uh, stop moving for a sec. Is this never going to work like that? I'm going to have to do it. 
Let's see. Uh, Hmm. Oh, because of the way the walls are. Yeah, yeah, we can just about do it. Now I can't see anyone. Because <laughs> <laughs> he I, phased into the wall. wall. <laughs> <laughs> he glitched out, man. Oh, Doing yeah, some speed run strats. So. <laughs> should do it. Let me see. Yeah, that should do it. I don't know what it looks like. Oh, I like, do you see how the rest of the inn is blacked out? Um, by the way, you can see a part of the map to the right, if you scroll to the right, that you should mm. be seeing. So scroll the map to the left, so you, that part is not, yeah, that's it. To the left, to the left. Uh, recall. That's it. That's it. I'm looking at everybody, and Shock should also move a bit to the left because you can still see uh, some lines there. Block. I need to block that out with, uh, and uh, also Shuban a bit to the left, just a little bit to the left, because in the bottom right you can see a bunch of stuff. Um, I need to use a uh, mask there to mask that, but uh, since they've updated how the mask works, I don't know how it works now, so I need to relearn it. It was annoying, you know. So today wasn't everything wasn't perfect. That's that's a little thing that I have to learn. But yeah, everything looks good now. Um, recoil. The others uh, are still keeping the um, the rusty dragon exterior and shock also. Uh, but right. sure, I like shocks. It's it's too it's very zoomed in, so you can see. Leave it as it is. You can see all their, but for the others, like Recall has it zoomed out, so he can show that. And uh, no, no, and uh, yeah, Recall's is fine. All, all of these is fine. It's a bit different. Each one is a bit different. I like to have, because I'm going to be taking screenshots and stuff, I like to have many options, you know, for, uh, so it's good. Okay. Um, And I thought I had the lady in my list here. Uh, so many NPCs is crazy.
Mind your own goddamn business. <laughs> <laughs> The raid. Hold on, let me check the chat log. <laughs> you mean the one that happened a year and a half ago? <laughs> <laughs> Just send her a link to the uh, <laughs> insomnia the Twitch, forum. The, every day. We fought the skeletons in the vault the same night, right? Yes. Yeah, but it was yeah. later. Okay. So. Mr. Nature. <coughs>
Yeah, let me check. Do I? S yes, I have it. You can see that they aren't using the chat log properly, otherwise they would have made they would have done the, the avatars and they would have done the, the the typos, they would have allowed you to fix them. On the other hand, the chat log is too well made to not be used. Like it must be like how do they make it so good, you know, all that stuff that it it shows. Maybe they're just interested in the numbers, maybe they just don't do any role playing on it. That's uh, you know, they just talk. Still, though, considering that if they don't use it for role playing, then they have all these features like whispers and, uh, um, you know, the moods and all that stuff. So that's weird. So many years they've been. What I'm gonna do with the robe is I'm gonna make it uh, not carried in your inventory. So instead of deleting it and then I, if she gives it back, I have to find it again. We just leave it there, but it's not carried. Okay. I can even put another little note. It says given, given to Shalalu. It says here that you pay three silver pieces per day for food. Did you did you spend that money yesterday? Uh, might be in the notes. I didn't. I didn't ch uh, change anything. The 
tracks uh, split, didn't they? It was Tickwood and Shankswood, right? Yeah, that's right. Ticks, Tickwood and Shankswood, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna another three ESP from each one of you. Um, one GP is how many ESP? Ten. Ten. Yeah, ten. <coughs> Sixteen. And then we're gonna put this from now on in the calendar, so that it will never be again a question. So for yesterday, you pay three for food and meal, plus another extra SP for the drinking. That's it. I fixed everybody. And I'm going to go notes calendar. And I'm going to put in a parenthesis. I'll show you what I've done. And now there won't be any. Shank, are you, do you speak goblin now? <laughs> I, I do speak goblin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, you wouldn't call yourself long shank or people like, like you long shank. Yeah. Uh, well, should I just say uh, humanoid then? I, we were using that before. You were, uh, I think... Because we uh, can well, tell. Humanoid, humanoid is also a halfling and a dwarf. Um, so, so we could just say human or elf, maybe. Human, yeah, human-sized. <laughs> yeah, from a human-sized human. Yeah, human-sized <laughs> human. <laughs> a human-sized elf. <laughs> That'd be from a short an elf-sized human. <laughs> from, from from a master race. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, or you could change it. Um, no, when I, you know what I can do? I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, I'm gonna add quotation marks. Of course, how does that play out when you speak? I don't know. Uh, add quotation marks to long. I think it's long shanks from a long shanks. Uh, so it means like long. So it's not. It's it's always plural. I had quotation marks. Long shanks. Uh, well, okay. Wait, you're not paying for food. Yeah, the first week is free, so you're only paying three SP per day for food. Uh, so three SP food. Right, so if you check that out now. Did you even eat the first night? <laughs> mm. Well, we, oh, we yeah. ate oh, at wait, the festival. Wait. You ate for free in the fe in the festival. So, um, hold on. Ate for free in the festival. 
<sighs> so that's okay. And the and next then... day. Shouldn't it be Rover 25 now? You're right, it's the next day. Hold on. Oh. And then we should be paying for that. Uh, I wonder if you're supposed to be playing in the morning. Uh, well, you haven't eaten yet. Wait. Uh, I think the way this goes is like um, they inclusive because... Food per day, per day, you know, is three meals. So, uh, when would you be paying? We'll figure it out next time. But you're right, the Rover 25 definitely. And I'm just gonna have to. Rover 25 is uh, meeting in town hall. For now, I'll just hit leave it like that. And the parenthesis, I have nothing, means you haven't paid anything for today yet. So we can figure it out next time. Okay, this is a good time to wrap it up. We're 12 minutes over schedule. And um, I'm just going to make... I'm just gonna make a note. Um, where should I put it? I should put it in the calendar, I think. So, the bottom of the calendar, uh, I'm just gonna type stopped uh, early morning. Um, in meeting with uh, after the sheriff left that's it so we're not gonna get lost or anything and uh, you guys can shut down sirenscape and you can exit the family advantage so uh, first stop the streams now yeah right stop all the streams <laughs>